Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I, I actually I clicked to go in the wrong time because I was laughing and I just drank some water. Oh boy, hardly I can breathe. Anyway, YouTube is hilarious and when you watch Muslims trying to defend their religion, you die laughing for sure. Anyway, let us go Brandon. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, a Muslim, a Mohammedan, he posted in the previous video, a video for us. First of all, by the way, I'm so, so, you know, I mean, I'm so disappointed that he discovered this Muslim that the one we are calling every day is not the true Zakir Naik. I mean, I don't know how he found out, but this is what he said in the comment. He said, this person is fooling you. He is not calling Zakir Naik. All those years, I'm calling Zakir Naik and nobody noticed. And there is a Muslim today. He discovered. I don't know what to say. Finally, we got busted. You can see the comment in the previous video we just posted today. Uh, his, his name, I think, the three minutes, something like this. Uh, his name is, yeah, three minutes. His name is three minutes. He have a clock sign next to his name. Yep. He discovered that this is not a true Zakir Naik and I'm faking it. What we will say to the Muslim now? <laughs> Very disappointing. I'm sure all of you are disappointed now. I mean, what I will say even to like the people who knows me, I mean, you lost, nobody will trust you no more. I mean, how in the world we can fix this problem now? You can defend it, you can say, uh, Christian Prince, he don't mean it. Uh, you, you can say whatever lie you want, but that's it, it's too late. The Abdul, he got you busted. And it doesn't matter what you try to do. The problem is there. You cannot get rid of it and you cannot fix it. Let us see how we can fix Zakir Naik here first. What happened to Zakir Naik? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Abdul. Abdul. Everybody knows I'm calling Zakir Naik, and this is the real Zakir Naik. What's wrong with you? Listen carefully. Let me call you again now. Tadadam, tadadam. Tadadam, tadadam. Listen, please. I told you. Don't call me. Hey, are you there? Zakir Naik. Listen, there's a guy in the chat. He just said that I am faking you, and this is not you. First of all, it's me. You can punch me, or you can hold me from my end. But what the heck? I'm not going to punch you. What's wrong with you? But can you say something to this guy that it is you, the true Zakir Naik? The, please, you know, they don't believe me. First of all, brother and sister, if you are listening to the crazy prince, if you say rain coming from my mouth, this is me. If there's no rain, that means not me. Oh, okay. So that, here we go. So now we have the fingerprint of Zakir Naik. If it's raining, Zakir Naik is spitting all over. <laughs> What a stupid idiot you are, the one who made this comment. Anyway, but he posted for us a video <clears throat> as a response for the sun set in a murky water. Okay, so I decide to listen to the video. I mean, what we can do? You know, that's it, you got us busted. Okay, Zakir Naik, tell us about the sun set in murky, murky water. Meaning, it appeared to Zulkarnain. Look, what the heck? Unscientific. That a big word used here is, it is wajada, uh -huh. meaning it appeared to Zulkarnain. Look, what the heck? The word wajada mean it appeared to Zulkarnain? <sighs> That's deep. That's deep. Wajada 
mean it appear to the Qurnayn. So why you Muslim in translation don't say it appeared to the Qurnayn? Why you say he found it? All translations say he found it. If this is what it's meant. Secondly, don't you Muslim you say the Quran is so clear? So why Allah is using the wrong word? But anyway, so brother and sister, that Karnay couldn't speak Arabic. He said that this would mean, what did the mean? It appeared to him. Okay, why Allah is saying it appeared to, uh, to him? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Look at the stupidity. Let us say for the sake of the argument, if you have an argument, by the way, if you don't behave in that chat, I will send you the Afrit. The Afrit, the genie, the one who's bold, you know? Behave yourself. Afrit can grab you right now, bring you here. So any one of you in the chat who will misbehave, I will send you the Afrit, which is mentioned in chapter 27, verse number 39. So, okay, we go to the verse. Let us go with you. Allah is saying, brother, it appeared to the Qurnayn. Okay. Why he says it appeared that it is sitting in a spring of a black, black muddy motor? <clears throat> and since when it will appear to anybody? You see that those liars, they say to you, ocean and etc. But there's no ocean. It says a spring, spring. Do you know how small the spring? You, when we say spring, we're not even talking about a river. It's a little tiny creek of water, spring. So it does not say it's an ocean. Hey, let us go back to Zakir Naik. Peace be upon him. And may Allah uh, open your umbrella. We are, uh, Zakir Naik will talk. Continue, Zakir Naik. And Dr. William Campbell knows Arabic. So what does that mean? If you look up in the dictionary also, it means it appeared. If we go in the dictionary, also it means appeared. Okay, this is the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> in the dictionary it means it's appeared well this is your Islamic dictionary where, where it appear I don't see it even it says there next to it Quran and this is almaani.com this is a very Islamic website run from the Gulf where is the word appear uh -huh. that's deep the brother and sister, do you remember E.F. Dawa? Even they call themselves E.F. Dawa, which means, let us go Brandon. <laughs> E.F. Dawa. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he said, the guy there in the video said, the word sort of mean uh, male member. And you, with the proof of that, go to the dictionary. We go to the dictionary, we find that sort of mean backbone. <laughs> But the brothers and sisters, things is getting more complicated. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mimi Hijab, he decided to be involved, to support here. Yeah, this is the same guy. You know, okay, can I suck your wife tits? <laughs> the same guy, the same guy, Mimi Hijab. So Mimi Hijab, he decided to support, and he put his heavy weight, you know, he's a boxer, supposedly. I don't know if he's boxing who, but anyway, he's a hero when you fight yourself. So, uh, yeah, you can suck his wife tits. I mean, it's haram. Yeah, it's, I mean, halal. The prophet said, are you making fun of your prophet, you filthy? And the funny is, if I call their prophet the same words, suck on me, suck with the prayer to custom prince. They say it, it's okay. <laughs> Don't quote the prophet. Don't. Otherwise, you will be considered a sexual prophet, sexual predator. So uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, he decided to jump in the fight. And he want to give a hand to brother Zakura. Look at this. Look at this, man. What do you want to say to us? I mean, you cannot handle the truth. That Santa Claus is real and the sun does not set in murky water authoritative uh, dictionaries for referencing the Arabic language
uh, Al-Fad Mufrat Al-Quran, he says in it that this uh, wajada could mean anything from the five senses. So it's perspectival and it's something from the five senses that is experienced from the person experiencing them. So this wajada is clearly in the Arabic language perspectival and it's the anthropocentric phenomenological perspective. <laughs> Abdul, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how stupid you are. The one is talking is not Zulqurnayn to say this is his perspective and he is saying that. The one who is saying that is your God. You see the stupidity of those people? If I am saying, if I am saying, well, I found, uh, you know, something, whatever. Let's say it's wrong. I found something wrong, which is mean I was wrong about my finding. And my sense was not helping me. For some reason, you know, but the one is talking is Allah, idiot. They ask Muhammad, can you tell us about the guy who is from Egypt? Look how stupid they are, supposedly the story. That was the Muslim story. And he is in, from Egypt, but his father is a Greek. And he built the city of school in Alexandria. What his name, what his name, what his name. <laughs> Let us go, Brandon, obviously. So, Muhammad, he went home, and he waited for a few days, and he came with the answer. And he said, Allah told me to tell you. If you go back to the verse, you will see, I forget about the Afrit. This Afrit will keep coming to me in my face. Let us close this one here. Man, Afrit. If you go a few verses, you will see that the one is talking is Allah. So how this is can be from the guy imaginary Allah is telling us what this guy he did what he found so let us say for the sake of argument this guy was wrong so why Allah is telling us that he found the Sun sitting in a muddy hot spring not ocean they are asking you about Zulqarnayn the guy with the two horn say I shall recite to you something, something of his story. So who is talking Allah? Verily we established him in earth and we gave him the means of everything. So he is sponsored by Allah, which means the means of everything, even understanding, even knowledge, even guidance. And you will see that in the rest of the story when he built a dam between the people, a human being, and Gog and Magog. So the one is talking is Allah. It is not Zulqarnayn. So the game of he found it, and this is his own perspective, it might work. If the one is talking is Zulqarnayn, the one is talking is Allah. And this is long after what he found. So what the point of saying to me, something silly like this, look what he's saying. After when he reached the setting place of the sun, he found it setting in a spring of a black, black muddy water, hot water. He didn't say he found it wrongly. He didn't say he was mistaken. He is confirming the find. The one is talking until now is Allah. Do you see the stupidity? However, this Abdul, Mimi Hijab, he is so stupid to the point he forgot that previously he posted other video. <laughs> you forgot your idiot, your video you, you made to, to refute apostate prophet? The stupidity of those people is beyond imagination. This guy himself, he posted a video in his channel. And he, when he posted introduction, he is sitting in his car. He said, what he said, let me remind, remind you, okay. Let us go there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as -salam. How are you guys doing? Fine. This is an annihilatory response video. This is annihilatory. Can somebody can type the word for me? This is what? I don't know how to type it, honestly. Annihilatory? This is annihilatory. The stupid idiot, he forgot the video he posted in his channel, which is confirming his stupidity about his prophet that he is stupid. What is this video is about? Tell us, please. How are you guys doing? This is an annihilatory response video to 
a man called Rizvan, who is an apostate from Islam and who has made it his life's mission, or at least on on the internet. Uh, okay, just get back right now. Let us go to the Nanatori. This is your video, you idiot. Can you deny it? This is the video you posted in your channel. And supposedly, this is the video will finish the guy. What you say to him with your sister there who is helping you? An alternative and see this. Narrated by Abu Dhar. Once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at sunset time. The Prophet said, Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. Again, you shouldn't have said that. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes. This First of all, yes. Hey, Muhammad Hijab, are you listening? This is the video you posted. This is the video you made with the help of your sisters. First of all, okay, what happened first of all? You shouldn't have said that. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes, this is the correct hadith. This is the correct hadith, brother. This is what? This is the correct hadith. <laughs> so supposedly, we destroyed the guy. Supposedly, we refuted the guy. It, but hold on. Once I was with the Prophet at, in the mosque, at the sunset time, the Prophet said, O oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it goes and prostrate under Allah's throne. <laughs> so this is your video did you forget what you posted before did you forget what you Muslims gather together to respond to the guy this is a correct hadith let us go to the hadith in the main page so people will laugh hey Abu Dhar where the sun goes brother here we go Yes, uh, this is Sahih Hadith. This is Sahih Hadith, okay? Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, he, maybe he will say, I want it from Al-Bukhari. Okay. Uh, we want it from Al-Bukhari. Uh, give it to me from Al-Bukhari. Okay. Hold on. Hmm. This, is the, this is the Hadith he is saying. This is the correct Hey, hold on, you know, I jumped into a conclusion first. I mean, let the guy finish what he is saying in the video. He said, yes, this is correct hadith, but he did not tell us why it's correct. Shouldn't we listen to the guy? I mean, come on, show some respect. Show, so, so, so some respect. Okay. Yes, this is the correct hadith. Why? It is the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, as we can see. And it clearly conflicts with the verse that speaks of Dhul Qarnain's perception. Huh. The words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, are clear, and it is quite obvious that he's speaking of a reality and not a perception. It is reality, brother. It is reality, not a perception. How it is reality? Let us go to the hadith now. So now it's confirmed that it is reality. So according to the reality of the Muhammadan and Mimi Hijab and their sisters, once I was sitting, I was with the Prophet in the mosque. At the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, Oh Abu Dhar, the father of the ants, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best because Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of God, their God, with the knowledge of their false prophet. He said, it goes and prostrate under underneath Allah throne and that is the statement that Allah, Allah said in the Quran and the sun runs into a fixed course so now this is this is the this is the this is the correct story the sun goes your prophet said where the sun goes the answer is the sun goes this is a video he posted in his channel 
which mean Mimi and Fifi and Sisi and Dudu, all of them, they agree with this hadith. As long as they agree, Islam is history because Muhammad, he is clearly saying that the son is the one who is running and even he's quoting the Quran. Here it says, and the son runs into a fixed course, term a decree, and that is the decree of the Almighty, all-knowing, chapter 36, verse number 38. Do you see it? And as long as they say this is the correct hadith, can they deny it now? So you try to escape the sun sitting in muddy water. You end that the sun is going somewhere. Either way, you're a prophet and your Quran are false. Do you see this beauty? But, you know, why they are not quoting for us the hadith about the sun set in murky water, which Muhammad he said. Oh, this is the Eve, but it says here Sahih in chain. The guy who said this hadith is modelis. What modelis mean? He lie, or all of you liars, and the proof that all those hadith you don't like, you are accused of being made by liars. That's mean your box is full of liars, and who are they? They are Muslims. So it says Sahih in chain, but for the Abdul, you don't accept that. If we go and read the interpretation for the hadith by their scholars, it says the following. Enter when he reached the setting of the sun, the place where the sun set. Look, do you see how clear it is? Let us say for the sake of argument, Wajadaha, as they say, this is his perspective. But it says here, he went to where the sun set. <laughs> but the sun set everywhere. Trust me. <laughs> you don't need to go anywhere to find where the <coughs> oh. <coughs> Let me get some water. Listen, Abdul. I swear by the bully Quran. That today... I saw the sun setting from my window. I did not even drive anywhere. You believe it or not, it's true. So the stupidity is beyond imagination because if Allah reporting what that guy did, how in the world Allah is saying, he keep going, keep going, keep going, until he found where the sun set. So that is a location where the sun go to sleep. This is not the sunset we see every day. This is a place where the sun go down. So they try to fix it with the first part, or let's say the word Bajadaha, but what about the part before it where it says, until he found the sun setting place. If you want to say to me that the word setting place is not mentioned, so why in your Islamic website, and this is your Sheikh at Jalalain saying so, and this is your official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And this is your Muslim translation. And this is Tafsir al Jalalain. If you don't like al Jalalain, brother, like, hold on, hold on. And he found it, it's, it said he found it sitting in muddy spring. Aynun hamia, a spring containing hama, which means a black clay. It is sitting in the spring, is described as seen. From this perspective of the eye, otherwise, it's far large, it's far large than this. <laughs> the Muslim try to fix it now. But the Quran say clearly, you see, we are going with them. This is their interpretation. Does it say that he could go and enter, he found the setting place of the sun? Okay, let us say, this is from his imaginary, how he saw, but the one is talking is Allah. But how we can solve the problem with the sitting place of the sun? And not only that, if we go a few verses after, we will find that the guy, he keep going until he found where the sun rise, in verse number 19. So not only he found where the sun set, he found where the sun rise. So he keep going another way until when he come to the rising place of the sun. Here it's getting more complicated and more clear. Until what? Until he found, until he came 
to a rising place of the sun. So if we have any confusion, now it's clear because obviously the sitting place of the sun and he keep going, this is exactly the great supposed to occupy everywhere. According to the old, you know, generation, they think that the, the, the world is what they occupy. So he control all the world. So he keep going, keep going until he reach the rising place of the sun. Now, you see the stupidity here is that Alexander the Great is a person who is a Greek, or let's say he's a Roman. And those people, they live in the sea. I mean, Greek, all of it is an island. It's hundreds and hundreds of islands. Italy itself is an island in the middle of, of the sea. So if you are telling me that Alexander the Great, he never saw the sunset before, that would be very, very funny. But here it says, he kept going until he found where the sun rise and until he found where the sun set. This is about a specific location. And you notice here there's no ocean. There is a spring of water. So the poor Abdul, they are so desperate to defend their stupid Quran. However, there is more important things to do than science. Okay, can I suck your wife tits? Muhammad Hijab said to make her haram. They are even making fun of their prophet. They are doing bullying to your prophet. They are bully. Even their prophet, they did not let him alone. Even their prophet, they are willing to say to him, let us go, Brandon. So what the Muslim they do, the verse is so clear, they say, it doesn't say that, CP. It says, let us go, Brandon. What? Does it say here in the front of us that the guy he keep going until he found where the sun rise? Are we making that up? Is that our translation? How we can fix that? Is that from his perspective? He keep going, keep going until he found the sunrise? Let me be a Muslim for a second, God forbid. Brother and sister, the guy, he was traveling all night because it's very hot. And now he arrived in the morning. Abdul, it doesn't say that. It says that he went all the way where the sun set, which means the west, supposedly, or that direction, whatever it is. And then he changed direction. He followed another way until he reached where the sun rise. The Zulkarnayn did not have a journey of 24 hours. He spent his life in war. This is not one day journey. Because, okay, the sun set, the sun rise, we are done, it's under the great, he go home. So this is the max of his journey. He went to the max, which is where the sun set in a murky water, and the max where the sun rise, and this is the place where the sun rise. And he found next to it people. Next where? Next to where the sun rise. Brother, the city of Alexander, Alexander the Great, that was named Pila, is not near the sea, but Alexander, he traveled around the world. No, we are talking about city, it's called Alexandria. Alexandria, you know, Alexander the Great, this wasn't a city, he chose the location. And it is, uh, you know, like it's a very unique location, good for defense, uh, you know, you know, you can watch documentary about it. So we are talking about Alexander yet because this was the question. They asked him, tell us about the guy who built this city. Who, who care about Pila? What Pila? Focus with me, focus, focus. So enter when he came to the rising place of the sun. Is that from his perspective? Hello? Because 
there is no need to go anywhere to see that same as where the sun set from his perspective secondly from any perspective can be that we found the sun setting in a spring of black water how we can solve this issue is the spring is an ocean no is the spring is even a river no is the spring is a lake no the word is spring aren't you muslim you say that quran is very clear don't you say that nobody can make quran like the quran don't you say that the arabic of the quran is amazing then things get more complicated but in different one we will finish with this one brother and sister who we should believe a brother who we should believe when you ask them that about is. the timing of the day he would say to you the sun rises at 7 a.m and it sets at 6 20 p.m so he is confirming that it is the sun that rises and sets <laughs> you see the stupid atheist we get them busted if you ask an atheist when the sun's uh, uh, okay tell me about the sun when the sun rise he will say to you it uh, rise uh, 6 p.m 6 a.m look at this genius at 7 a.m so for us laymen even if you go to atheists uh -huh. when you ask them yeah. about the timing of the day yeah he would say to you the sun rises at 7 a.m uh -huh. and it sets at 6 20 uh -huh. p.m uh -huh. so he is confirming that it is the sun that rises and sets exactly brother exactly i want to make video reaction like you see those abdul they make video reaction like those people who want to get a, a subscription from the Muslims. Reaction for re resilient to the Quran and the guy, his mouth is open like uh, a Catholic is reaction to the Quran. Uh, his mouth is open. A Catholic is reaction for Quran miracle, uh, you know, and his mouth is open in the in the video. Or like uh, what is name? The guy who left Islam, uh, Kim, the Korean guy, decide, he decided that he, he told him that he was a fraud. <laughs> The action for the miracle of the Quran. This is a Korean style, like to say, wow, you know. Like what? I mean, Korean people, what's wrong with you? What like are you? Did you burn your fingers? So the guy, like he play a video of Quran miracle. And the guy, he says something. There, there is no iron in this earth. And Allah, he send, I send down iron. The guy, the Korean guys. They take it easy, man. And later we find out that he is he don't care for Islam, he was just fooling them, and he decided to leave Islam. But anyway, brothers and sisters, <laughs> atheists, they say that to you, confirming that the sun rises every day. But things is not over yet. I wish, where are we now? Ah, oh, hold on. This is a Saudi sheikh. Those are the real sheikh, not the most be YouTubers. I don't know if you will be able to see the translation in the screen. It has to go down a little bit so you can see the translation. I think now the translation is good, but his head is gone. I mean, what kind of a... I need to change my team, by the way. The one who... Uh, by the way, I receive emails. <clears throat> Not to me, I mean, so to people who supposedly they know me. They say, can you ask Christian Prince to let his secretary call us? They think I have a secretary. They think I have offices. I mean, they think that. <laughs> anyway, so this guy here is refuting the kuffar. Uh, what? What happened? The <laughs> All those sheikhs, they are mentioned by those sheikhs that they are the one who can explain the Quran. And they are saying to you that the earth is fixed and doesn't move. The earth is fixed 
and it does not move. Tell us more. ثابتة لا تتحرك وهذا هو مقتضى النصوص ومقتضى العقل أصلا. And this, is, أيضا... and this is what according to the Quran. Okay, now, and then he said continue. There is a, there is an ample Quranic evidence that the sun that revolves around the earth continue. كثير على الشمس التي تدور. الأدلة العقلية بارك الله فيكم. You know, intelligence evidence. Intelligence evidence, like or evidence based on reason, as translated here. Okay, tell us more. أنكم تقولون أنهم نظريات وما أدري كيف حتى نحن عندنا نظريات وعندنا عقول كمسلمين. Yeah, we Muslims have brain too, for sure. But come on, I mean, who can deny that? Tell us more about your brain. أولا نحن الآن في أين؟ نذهب إلى مطار الشارجة. Ah, he is a Sharija. He is in a Sharija. Okay. Okay, well, you know, like if you live in Emirates now, you go and you are in Emirates. Okay, so we are in Emirates now. What will happen? We want to go to China by airplane. He will explain to you now how the airplane move from Emirates, brother, to China. Listen carefully. According to the Quran, هذه الأرض إذا قلت منها تدور. This is the earth. إذا خرجنا من مطار الشارقة. Okay. برحلة دولية إلى الصين. So if we leave the the airport of Asharija in international flight to China, what will happen? Listen carefully. The Earth is moving, right? So if we stop the plane in the sky, he is saying, okay, according to them, the Earth go around itself, right? Okay. So if the airplane stand in the in the sky, doesn't move. If the plane stopped in the middle of the air. Wouldn't China come to it? Alisa, the Sin Tati? Tadur, Tati Sin or Matati? Sure, it's going to come. Look at the Shams. Water. One day I will die here from laughing. Uh, the same come to us. The China come to us. If you, okay, you go in the airplane and you make the airplane stand in the use a helicopter. <laughs> okay, go in the airplane and let the airplane stop in the air. Helicopter. And you wanna go to China? China will come to us. Brother, do you think that we Muslims don't have a brain? This is what he said, huh? Okay, hold on. نذهب إلى مطار الشارقة. نريد أن نذهب إلى الصين بالطيارة. آه. واضح؟ ركزوا معي. هذه الأرض. إذا قلت. I love it when he say focus with me. Focus. Like this is because this is need a lot of focusing. I mean, we have to be honest here. Focus. Okay. Tell us more. بالطيارة. واضح؟ ركزوا معي هذه الأرض إذا قلتم أنها تدور إذا خرجنا من مطار الشارقة برحلة دولية إلى الصين الأرض تدور صح؟ طيب لو وقفت الطائرة في السماء أليست الصين تأتي؟ صح ولا لا؟ تدور تأتي الصين ولا ما تأتي؟ طيب لو كانت الشمس الأرض تدور هكذا لو تمشي الطيارة ما أدري كم تمشي لن تستطيع أن تلحق الصين لأن الصين تدور وأنت تدور أو oh بوي if the airplane could go in China is going too, so we will never meet because the airplane is going and China is coming, so we will never meet. But we have to be here focusing. This is so good. And did you notice that he said this is according to the Quranic verses? Why why the Muslim don't say line number one 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 hundred twenty? <laughs> Nobody make video for him to say oh liar. The poor Christian prince, everybody say Christian prince is lying, Christian prince is lying. But when a Muslim he make a video, nobody go and say, What are you this guy is an official government TV? If he say something against Islam, he will be. You, you can imagine what will happen. And this is what he been chosen from all the cleric to teach. He's not just a normal person. 
And I assure you, he have a very high salary. Focus with me, brother, focus with me. So if the airplane is moving and China is coming, that's mean we'll never go to China because the China is uh, moving, brother, it's a true story. Tell us more. If the earth لو تمشي الطيارة ما أدري كم تمشي لن تستطيع أن تلحق الصين لأن الصين تدور وأنت تدور. Absolutely. ولن تستطيع أن تصل إلى الصين لأنك تدور وهي تدور. فكيف تصل إلى الصين؟ How you go to China? ثاني من الأدلة أيضا قوله صلى الله عليه وسلم من البيت المعمور أين البيت المعمور؟ Look now he will give us more evidence from the prophet himself 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 himself. The house of Allah. Where is the house of Allah? البيت المعمور. The build house. There is a house in the heaven. Where it is, tell us where. السماء السابعة. Seven heaven. محادات إيش؟ قال عيسى نعم لو سقط سقط على إيش؟ الكعبة. Look at this, brother. The house of Allah is fixed in the top of the Kaaba. Okay. So if the earth is round, as they say, and the earth is going around itself, as they say, so how the house of Allah is fixed in the top of the Kaaba in the seven heaven? Like, hello? I mean, seriously, you are a bunch of crazy people, like those Christians. What's wrong with you? The house of Allah, brother, like, explain to me more about the details about the location of the house of Allah. I did not get this one, as you know, like, because, you know, today I did not eat good food, you know. Tell me more. <laughs> no way. Finally, from the evidence, الكعب أنتم تقولون الأرض تدور طيب لو brother I think this is the last day I'm going to go live because that's it I mean that's it what I will say to the people who listen to me I mean, let us here be careful. The Prophet, he gave us a clear evidence. That the house of Allah is located in the top of the Kaaba. And if it's fail, is going to fail in the top of the Kaaba. Straightforward. Brother, I'm not sure how those aggressions, Hindus, Buddhas, everybody can reject such a powerful evidence. Sometimes I ask myself, why people don't see what the Muslims see? Isn't it really clear? What's wrong with them? Why they are blind? Ah, I forgot uh, when uh, <clears throat> when Mimi Hijab was making his video he mentioned a sheikh his name is Ibn Taymiyyah mean, Ibn Taymiyyah is the one who will tell us what the verses mean brother are you sure well Ibn Taymiyyah in his book and Nubu'at, value number one, page number six. It says that it's very well known that people, they do magic and they can't ride their broom. 
or even a, an, an empty jar and they fly with it in the, from in, on air from country to country <laughs> Really? This is the guy who will explain the Quran for you? Let us translate to English because maybe because some prince is lying. Hold on. Let us move it here. Who want the reference? Who want anyone want the link? If anyone want the link, I will give it to you. Okay. This is the link. Okay. So if you are a Muslim and you have a doubt that this is a Christian website or something, please check it out. So here now, we are going for you in front of, 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 of you. We will do an experiment of those who Muslim, they ask for their help to fight us and to get us busted. You know what? I need to find a better website than this one because the text is all over the place. Is that I cannot? Uh, let me see if I uh, shrink the, the page. Does the uh, the text shrink with it? Because I need no. Yeah, actually it does. Okay, that's good. Because I need to use Google Translation, and the more I zoom out, the more the text will be smaller. So I don't want to do that. All right. So now we are going to go and use Google Translation. Shall we? Click Translate to English. The title, The Book of the Prophecies, Ibn Taymiyyah. Value number one, printed in Cairo by the Salafi Press. Those are the terrorists themselves. Let us see what Ibn Taymiyyah says. <clears throat> It's very well known, brother, that there is many people who do magic. They can write, they can do magic, and they even can write their own broom. All of that, so on, until they fleas and they fleas in the air from country to another. Somebody saying to me, why you don't answer the question? Do the sun rise anyway? Abdul, there is a, this is a stupid question. There is something we use in the language to tell about timing, and there is something to use in scientific way. So by language is accepted to say the sun rise, but it is not what it's meant. You know, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm going to go and see you at the sunrise, but because this is what we see every day, this is our daily routine. But this is not science now. We are not talking, this is language. But here we are talking about a person who reach where the sun set and he reach where the sun rise. So stop being dummy when you didn't answer my question. Because your question is full of diarrhea. So according to the scholar, which Mimi Hijab is asking us to go and read his book, people, they can fly riding their broom. This is true. I saw it once in the cartoon. I remember I was like maybe seven years old. And I did. Uh, I went to the kitchen. I took my mother broom. At that time, there was no like those uh, you know vacuum machine and those luxurious stuff. Otherwise, we would ride them too. Even would be better. <laughs> I took it because you know this is the broom we have. This is something we inherited from a neighbor. She was a witch. So we took her broom. You know uh, what happened? I went to the house of the neighbor. I exchanged the broom of my mother with the broom of the witch. The witch one day, the police came to arrest her because she was doing witching. You know, when you do witchy witchy, they arrest you. So she came, they came to arrest her. Usually she fly with the broom and she run. But because I changed the broom, she could not. And we got the broom. And actually, this is why I have many experience of many countries I went to because I was riding the broom. And even now, because of Corona, you cannot go anywhere. But did you ask me what I've been like for two months, almost, or a month, five, six weeks? You know, just two months ago, three months ago, I was riding the broom. The true story. So this is the scholar who is going to explain the Quran for us, believing that people, they ride the broom. Mimi hijab. Fingerprint. Okay, so now 
We got this Abdul, he explained to us everything and now things become so clear. Do I need to pause the link again for the thing? Don't tell me you don't have it now. Don't tell me later, Sean, where is the link, you know? Because I know them, I know you. Doesn't matter how many times I pause the link. You say I saw nothing, I know nothing. All right. Now, we have different uh, story. Let's close some pages. <clears throat> too many pages open so I need to okay now we have different story so the one who download my videos you can cut this video two videos you know I mean ocean ocean graphy the Quran says sweet and salt water meet, but they never, but they what? Uh, meet, but there is an unseen barrier. People, this is the name and the title in the page of Dr. Zakar Naik. So the title is so clear. There's unseen barrier. Bear what? Barrier. <laughs> unseen, unseen. Okay, Zakir, Zuzu, go. It's your turn now. Get them busted. In the field of oceanography, uh -huh. there's a verse in the Quran, in Surah Furqan, uh -huh. chapter number 25, verse number 53 says that he has let two bodies of flowing water, one sweet and palatable, <clears throat> and the other salty and bitter. Though they meet, they do not mix. There is a barrier which is forbidden to be trespassed. Previously, uh -huh. we human beings knew that there are two types of water, sweet and salty. But the commentator of the Quran could not understand what does God Almighty mean by saying that these two waters... Did you guys did you understand? Did you see here? The commentator of the Quran could not understand. That is a horrible, my friend. What are you are talking about? I, I thought the Quran is clear. The Quran says, We made it in the clear details. You just said nobody can understand? Oh, okay. So what happened now? What happened? And look, look the camera, the camera of the Abdul. They are posting like, like this guy, his mouth is open. Like he, he's laughing at you, Abdul. He's looking at... He's looking at your trouser why it's so short because the prophet he says if you have a long trouser you will go to hell like, what the heck that these two waters when they meet they not mix and there is a barrier which is forbidden to be trespassed today after science has advanced we have come to know that whenever one type of water flows into the other type of water it loses its constituents and gets homogenized into the water it flows this today science calls as the transitional homogenizing area which the Quran oh, hold on. transitional homogenizing area Barzakh this is the Barzakh are you sure? It refers to as Barzakh as a barrier and this can be seen in Cape Point the southern most of South Africa and when we see even the color of the water between these two types of water differs. Hey, hold on, hold on. We have a Abdul, his name is Mimi Hijab, is getting you busted. Mimi Hijab, when he saw another person getting the Muslim busted with this lie. Not this one. Not this one. Hey, this one. This is Mimi Hijab. A guy, he said to them, you see, there's thousands of videos made by Muslims about that there's water, brother, they touch each other, brother, but they don't mix. Quran says that, brother. The word barzakh, brother, means they, there's barrier, and see unseen barrier, remember. Unseen barrier. So Mimi Hijab, he decided to answer about this one. Because this guy, he said to them something very, very, very disappointing. That RE elbows out science like this. As you saw, this man was badgering. Oh. Today, inshallah, uh, hold on, we want to go there. We, we, we quit fast 
here we go so this guy he asked the muslim a question if the water is not mixing here we go we go to the kitchen we bring salt water and fresh water and we put them in one cup and let's see if they mix or not <laughs> um just recently it's already proved in the quran 1400 years ago when it was written uh, but, but that doesn't include evolution apparently no, it doesn't, um, um, that, so what does it include it includes stuff like the shape of the earth um about the um the mountains how they secure the earth and how um, in the sea, the two waters, they don't mix, the salty water. What is that? Is that a Halloween? Okay, I don't know. What is that? And the drinking water, so it's um, pure for us to drink. They don't mix, but they pass through each other. Salty water and fresh water don't mix in the sea? No, it's like... Um, the it's a natural barrier. I yes. was shocked they, that RE elbows out science like this. Now, as you saw, this man was badgering the kids um, he doesn't want to go to trained theologians, Muslim theologians, or uh, public figures, or whatever it may be. He's going for the children. And Mimi Hijab, I want to say to, to you, this guy is going to children. He don't come to me. Hey, Hijab, I came to you. You're a coward. You hang up on me seven times. You did not even let me talk. Potato. And you told the Muslim you want to debate me. Mm, potato. Okay, tell us what about this barrier, uh, uh, Mimi? Go ahead. And really, he's uh, arguing that this is false in the Quran. If, if the idea is that you have these, uh, the sweet water, the fresh water, and uh, the salty water, that there is a barrier between the, he's No such barrier exists. He said, you Guys, Mimi Hijab, he reported my video uh, or copyright warning. <laughs> Can you believe it? I mean, look how brave they are. I'm going live. I just received warning. We need the copyright video, audio streaming. This is copyright? What the heck? How come is, if Mimi, he played the guy video, it's okay if I play it now? <laughs> Okay, okay. So when we hijab, let us finish this. They will take the video down. You better download it right away. So here you notice that Mimi Hijab he will say to you, this is a physical barrier. You can go to the kitchen. Yes, you can put the sweet, uh, you can put, uh, you know, these two waters together and mix them and disprove the Quran. That's a, you know, this is such a weak and lazy approach. Don't you want to research what this verse is talking about in the first place? Okay. Because if you just went to even an English translation of the exegesis of such verses, uh -huh. you don't realize that the prominent or the most popular exegetical opinion on this uh -huh. was that the barrier in question were the land masses that were separate. Look what the heck! It was a land. It is a land. But how you are blaming those, this guy who refuting the Muslims for lies being taught to them by all of you? There's tens of thousands of videos about the water don't mix, and this is what they were saying in the TV program. So how come you Muslim did not go to check the what is the exodus? exodus? How come Zakir Naik did not notice? How come nobody make a video to get more Zakir Naik busted? So now Zakir Naik and all of you Muslim make thousands of videos saying that this is unseen barrier when in fact it is a land. Did you hear it, Muslims? The barrier the Quran speak of, it's a land. So now the problem is the problem of this guy who refuted your lies, or the problem is that you Muslims never stood to the lies about the miracle of the Quran. But look what Mimi Hijab he just did. He just confirmed, trying to defend the Quran, that the Quran is made by an idiot. Why? By the way, don't forget to download the video because they will take it down, as you see. We just receive a warning. So, we heard him saying that this is a physical uh, barrier. It is a land. This is a minute 
20, uh, 29 seconds. Popular exegetical opinion on this. I like it when he like he keep holding his. The guy have a fur. I mean, shave the end of hair if it's so dirty. Obviously, you keep scratching it because it's so dirty. Take a shower. Okay, so it is what if we check what was that the barrier in question were the land masses uh -huh. that were separating seas from rivers. Stupid. He's right. The Quran says that. But look what happened now. As long the land is separating between the fresh water and the salty water, the Quran says will never meet. So not only he got busted, Zachary Naik and all those liars speaking about scientific miracle, that the water is not mixing. And actually, if you go and read the Mikathir, yes, Mimi Hijab is saying the truth now, you know. But he's saying the truth, by the way, because he is a stupid. He wanted to defend Islam, supposedly, but he got himself busted again, because look what happened. Because the Quran saying that those two water, they will never mix ever. Do you see it? So the stupid Quran author claiming that those water, the salty and the fresh, there's a barrier which is a land. The word barzakh is true. It is a barrier of land. It is not a water. So Allah, he made a barrier. It's a piece of land between the fresh water and salty water. And if you notice with me in the Quran, the Quran considered that there is two seas so the Quran, who made by an idiot, believed that there is a sea of a fresh water and a sea of salt water. And Allah, he put a barrier with them and they cannot ever mix. Do you see it? So, Mimi Hijab, he got Zakir Naik busted. By trying to refute somebody, getting the Muslim busted. But now by cause he confirmed that this is a barrier, which is a physical land. And this is what it is actually. You can go to the dictionary. The word barzakh, even any interpretation, you will see that the barzakh is a piece of land, a dry, not only land, a dry land. So Allah is making it clear that those two barriers, they will never, this barrier, sorry, he will never let the, the sea, which is a fresh, and the sea, which is salty, met. Is that science? Is it true that we have fresh water because we have a barrier between the fresh and the salty? Is it true that we have a sea of a fresh water? And there's a barrier between? Of a dry land? So, you see here how the Muslims, actually, if you any of you can go and collect those videos and put them together, you will see hilarious videos because those Abdul, they expose each other because each one of them, he tried to defend Islam by making a stupid statement. Supposedly, he is fighting Islam, but in different place. He himself, he posts different video opposing himself. How many times the Christian Prince, he made videos saying that the Muslim lying about the two water mixing together sorry touching each other and they don't mix how many times i say this is a piece of land and how many times the muslim they say you are lying now mimi hijab is saying it is he lying we can go to ibn kathir and you will see it is dry land So do you see how those Abdul, they expose each other? What's wrong with this religion? It turned to be a dry land. But if we go, let me do this, hold on. If I go right now to YouTube, peace be upon him. What assault? Water, fresh water, Quran. I will just will type that. I hate it when I type in an Arabic, but thanks to Allah, Google can understand my Arabic and make it English. Okay. 
you know, just to show you how uh, what what I did type. Look at this, like because I thought I'm typing English, you know. So now, okay, barrier between sweet and salty water. Miracle of the Quran. Miracle of the Quran. Miracle of the Quran. Miracle of the Quran. Miracle of the. This is like the one we are playing now. How come no Muslim make a video to say this is not true? But now because there's a smart guy, he got you busted in two seconds saying, okay, let us go to the kitchen, get a cup of a fresh water and a cup of a salty water, and we put them together. Let us see if they mix or not. <laughs> Very easy. The miracle of salty water, the miracle of oil, fresh water, the miracle of etc. Look at the miracle. Look at the program, program, uh, TV program, after the program. Richard Daquin, Richard Daquin, Muslim miracles. Uh, the reacts of the Quran and secret of, this is a different one. Hold on. Uh, the analogy, okay, hold on. Uh, Ten scientifically impossible places. The Quran. Look, look at the miracle. See, this is the first one. You play it, brother. Look at the barrier. Look at the barrier. Look at the barrier between the two seas. Do you see it? Do you see it? Are you blind? You people don't want to convert to Islam. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with those people? I'm so disappointed with you. Look at this guy, scientific miracle of the Quran, seas and rivers, verses in the Quran about the two rivers they don't that uh, mix, no, they don't mix, but it became river. The Quran says two seas, and the video title became two 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 river. I mean, do you see how true for even in, in translation? Hold on, in the Quran it says to river. Where? Where the two river? The sea became river? Two seas. Your God, Allah, He imagined there is two seas. By the way, I will tell you a true story, but this is later. Because once I was, you know, I was walking down the street, and then, like, you know, there is one, uh, you know, like, you know, an fell down in there, you know. And then I woke up, I found myself between two seas. And, you know, because the two seas were squeezing on me, because, you know, like, I was trying to get out, and, like, I pushed the first seas, and they said, okay, but they are heavy, and there is a lot of water. I mean, you can imagine, there's a seas, you know. And then when I was, like, in the water, and the seas pushing on me, but because I'm strong, it's okay, you know, I can do it. So I was pushing them, pushing, pushing, pushing them, and then because I pushed them so hard, I became Allah. He made a verse about me, and he said, "Christian Prince is the invisible barrier between the." Don't the Muslim they say he hide himself? Don't the Muslim they say Christian Prince he hide himself? Invisible. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So, yeah, I, 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 I am what Allah is talking about. I, I, I am the barrier which is invisible, brother and sisters. Invisible, unseen. And this is the title of Zakir Naik. Somebody called Zakir Naik, said to him, Mimi, uh, Hajub uh, did uh, get you busted. It's a land, you idiot. It's a piece of land, you donkey. Unseen. Unseen barrier. Let me zoom this in and see. Look, and seen Dr. Zakir Naik. <laughs> <laughs> you are a seaman what do you mean you never see a barrier okay the reason you did not see this at a barrier because you are a seaman you need to be a river man that got you busted <laughs> this guy is a seaman that's why you cannot see it because brother you have to see it from the perspective of a river man <laughs> I'll be sorry for you, seaman. What's wrong with you? You can't see it if you are a seaman. You have to be a freshwater man. Because you are used to salty water. Like you, you drink salty water, you eat fish, you know. So, so you want to see it. You are already are blind, blinded by salt. You have to be a seawater man, not a fresh, I mean, sorry, freshwater man, not a sea. 
like that because that will not make you Superman. You have to be Superman in order to see this uh, the barrier. And the only Superman we have here, his name is Zachary Naik. This is why he is the only superpower person who can speak in the speed of light, 1,000 word with a lot of a fresh water. <laughs> He's like a naik. Do you think the fresh water come from your mouth? Is that what the Quran is talking about? There is two seas. <laughs> Hold on, I can't breathe. Mm. Oh no, I drank from the salty water. Where is the? You, you see, they mix. They, they look the same. They look the same. Who put this water here? Oh boy. I drank from the wrong water because I was making experiment myself here to see if the water because I believe it I became when I become a Muslim so I brought the two water and put them next now I have this fresh water here salt water here and okay to see the salt water here I will drink it okay mm. okay just fresh now I will drink the salty water mm. okay um, I don't think they are mixed by the way I think they are inside my stomach but they are separated because if you ask me the truth I feel like in the left side there is a fresh water in the right side of my stomach there is salty water if you don't believe me I swear by the bully Quran <laughs> oh <laughs> Uh, Porto, Porto, my friend, we run from all the Muslims. This is why we are here 24 hours and my Skype always open. Do you see who's running? <laughs> Get out of here, potato. All your kids don't even dare to give me their Skype to call them. Who is the one that's running? Potato, including in Zakura. I am the one who called me my hijab. Everybody is my witness. And that coward hang up on me more than seven times, did not let me talk, and he claimed that he debated me. And he what was doing? He played a video. Did you say this? Did you say this? Hang up on him! Hang up on him! Potato, sons of Muta. So look at this. We have two sides of the story, and two stories. One made by a Muslim, the other one made by a Muslim. One saying there is a barrier which is unseen. The other one saying there is a barrier. It's a piece of land. Do you see the stupidity of this religion? Right? Hmm. Uh, Islamic community is laughing at me, Al Walid. Okay, well, no problem. I mean, okay, because you know, I, uh, I, you see, you have to laugh at me. I am the one who said I have a flying carpet. I am the one who said there is a barrier between the fresh sea and the salty sea, and they will never meet. But all of us, we know, you can go watch cartoon made for kids. Go, go right now, search and go, you know, the cycle of the, the rain. The fresh water is coming from the sea. It's not the opposite. So when you're a stupid God saying that there's two seas, they never met, that means there's no fresh water going to go to the sea and there's no sea coming from the water to us. When all of us we knew that all the water we have is from the sea. The sun heat the water, the water vibrate, the water come as a cloud and that will make fresh water can make a river spring of water can make lake can make or collect all the water collected underground but according to your stupid cult there's two seas and they never mix and Allah he put a barrier between them so who is laughing at who Are you there? Who is laughing at who? We have two Muslims, both of them they have beard. One have a thick beard and the other one putting fertilizer to grow it. One saying it is unseen barrier, the other one saying no, this is a piece of land. Hmm. 
why I lie about the Bible. Uh -huh. So, okay, now you change the agenda. I'm lying about the Bible. I'm not lying about the Quran. <laughs> You know, I'm not expecting you to say that, by the way. I'm lying about the Bible? Okay, if I'm lying about the Bible, so why are you stupid Allah confirming my Bible? What's wrong with your God? What's wrong? Do you think there is something wrong with your God? Be honest with me. This is your Quran. Let us go to the Quran. Here it says, Allah, he is confirming what is with us. So how I am lying about my Bible and Allah is confirming what is with me? Are you there? Is your God Allah confirming my lie? Potato, 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 so look what happened today. For years, the Muhammadan making videos about the water of the sea, salty sea and fresh water sea, they don't mix. And then we got Muhammad Hijab destroying all the lies Muslim they built for years. All of it is gone. You see, I showed the reference 1,000 times, the Muslim they don't want to listen. But can you now ignore that Mimi Hijab saying it? That this is a piece of land? And he was saying to this guy, oh, what you need to do, hold on, what, what he said? Let me repeat again, because I forgot what he said, I forgot. Let us go to Mimi Hijab. <clears throat> yeah, uh, what, what he said, what he said? Oh, what you need to do, what? For example, the Arabian Peninsula, for example, other land masses that separate these things. So on the one side of this land mass, you have maybe a sea and the other land, uh, side, you have a river and or within the land, you have a river flowing. This is what is being referred to here, that God in his uh, greatness is able to allow such different types of waters to exist. But this donkey, he forgot to say that it says they will never transgress. So all the lies you Muslim you did, look at his face, look at this, look. So convincing. And he is supposedly exposing this guy who need to learn Arabic. How come Mini Hijab did not make a video to respond to the water, salty water and fresh water is posted for years and years to expose this lie? How come now? Because now it is embarrassment. People, they start watching the video of this guy and it was a very smart idea. Let us get some salty water in a cup, fresh water other cup, and let us put them together, see if it's going to be mixed. Very embarrassing. Because he said something, we have to refute it now. We have to say, we have to go back to the truth. And the truth is, it's a piece of land. But this idiot, he forgot that the Quran not only saying it's a piece of land, it's saying they will never, ever, ever meet. They will never transgress. And there are two seas, not two rivers. Do you see it? So now we have two stupid people exposing each other, and the purpose is to defend Islam, both of them. There's a Muslim saying, the clown, this is the clown show. You are right. The topic is Allah and Muhammad. So what do you expect? <laughs> okay, let me tell you about the clown. The clown, what does the word the clown mean? Is a word of a person, he put makeup on his face. Did your prophet put eyeliner three times a day? Hello? Did your prophet pee like a woman? Did your prophet wear his wife a cloth? Did your prophet used to be kissed by men down his belly? 
Who is the clown? Hmm? Eh? Look, look at look at the description of the clown. Abu Huraira said. Oh, hold on. That's not this one. I want to show you this one. Hold on. This one. Abu Abdul Rahman said, and this is Sahih. Quoting Osa, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then he said, uh, a man from Al Ansar said that while he was giving uh, to jesting and he was talking to the people and making them laugh, the Prophet poked him under his ribs with his stick. He said, <laughs> let me take retaliation. He said, take retaliation. Who said that, Muhammad? He said, you are wearing a shirt, but I am not. The guy is topless. The Prophet then, he raised his shirt and the man embraced him and start kissing his side. This is your translation. Hmm? Do you want to laugh at the Bible number 2230? Sure. I, I really, do you like to call me? Do you like to call me to talk about it? I will make an exception just for you. Guys, do you think this guy will really dare to call me and talk about it? Do you? Or you do not? Because if you do, I will open my Skype and we will do Scooby-Doo together and then people will laugh at you. So do you dare? Or you are afraid I will corner you even if you are in a circle room? What do you say? Al-Walid, what say you? Do you accept that sentence? You see, you are the one who chose the topic, not me. It's your fault. You get what you asked for. Don't play that on me. Do you dare to call me and read for me what it says in the book of Numbers? Hello? Hello? It is me you're looking for. Why do I have to call you? Then get lost. Because supposedly you want to get me busted. So you know why you are talking to me? You are just a kid. We are supposed to call you. Why is why you are supposed here now? People want to see the truth. I'm giving you opportunity to call me so people they can hear the crazy, crazy stuff there, brother. But look at you, you are even coward. To me, and, and the funny sacred Christian Prince is running away. Get out of here. Send your mom, your dad, anyone. Send, send, send somebody adult, like six years and older, like Aisha. I want real men here. Christian brands. Do you forget your prophet? He asked you, Afur, do you like females? Afur is a donkey, literally. In the book of Number, you idiot. It says, God, he opened the mouth. He, he is God, is using... It's not the donkey. The donkey is a donkey, like your prophet. Go and read, you idiot. But it's in your Quran where it says that all the animals are Muslims and they've been given a book. It's in your hadith where Allah, he, Allah Prophet, he asked his donkey, which he stole from a Jew after he killed him. What's your name? He told him, my name is Yazid, blah, 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 blah. And I am descendant from 100 donkey. And uh, all of us, we were donkeys for a prophet. And I am the last one. <laughs> And then the Prophet, he asked him a serious question. You say, imagine, this is the first time Muhammad is speaking to animals. What kind of question you would ask him? Geography? Science? No, the Prophet is a very touchy person. He want to be sure that the donkey is happy. So he asked him, hey, therefore, do you like females? Like, what the heck? I mean, from all the questions they come to come to your head to ask an animal, first time a person is speaking to an animal, and now you're asking him if he likes females. I mean, do you expect him to be a gay? Look at the prophet question. And then look what happened. 
what is not expected happened. The, 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 the donkey, he said, oh, 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 no, I don't like females. Like, what the heck? He is a donkey and he's a gay. The donkey of the prophet don't like females. Why? Go read it. Go right now, search in Google. The donkey of a prophet, Yafur. They don't know what is written in their books. Stupid people. Look, there's there's somebody is insulting me. He says Christian Prince is a lion. Okay, what, what's wrong? What's okay? Hold on, okay. Why a lion? Why a lion? Okay, <laughs> why you choose from all the animals a lion? At the end of the day, it's an animal. <laughs> anyway, just I'm joking. <clears throat> My friend Lion, they, 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 you know, it shows whatever name, or it doesn't make any, any different. At the end of the day, what makes you different is your brain. Because a brave with no brain is a foolish. Correct? A brave with no brain is just a stupid brave. So you need you need both. You need a brain. You need your intelligence and you need to be smart because bravery in the wrong time is a stupidity uh, as an example you know when the when the israeli were fighting the hamas the 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 the, the, the jewish guy he, the israeli army says ahmad and ahmad you stand up the israeli army shoot him <laughs> Hamas leader, he's so smart. He said to them, you stupid idiot, don't do that. Next time when they say Ahmad, you know, Ahmad don't stand up. Hassan stand up. Do you see how bravery and intelligence work together? <laughs> if they call Ahmad, don't stand up, Ahmad. Hassan stand up. So they will shoot Hassan. This way we can get the Jewish busted. And now the Jews, they cannot shoot anymore as before. Because now they used to call Ahmad, Ahmad stand up, they shoot Ahmad. So now they cannot do that. They say Ahmad, Hassan stand up, they shoot Hassan. And then the Hamas say, ah, 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 you killed Hassan, not Ahmad. So bravery have to come with intelligence. And there's nobody like Abdul with, the, with such a thing, brother. You know, we have to face it. So anyway, today we, we have this mixed together. You can cut this video, make it short, whatever you want to do. One video is about uh, Mimi Hijab getting Zakir Naik busted. You can make it short to minute if you want. And the same for the salty water. And same for the the sunset murky water. You know, which is a true story. Do we have any uh, <clears throat> anyone uh, complaining? Anyone? Hello? I know, I know. You see, do you think I'm not smart to know that lion is a compliment? But you see, because I'm, I'm the smartest. Okay, I will tell you what. This is a true story, by the way. I was the, the smartest one in my classroom. Uh, by, by the way, I'd not tell you that the principal, he, he fired me, you know. So, like, they give me a classroom which is empty because there is no teacher when I get in and no student, they can sit with me. But I was number one in the classroom, to be honest with you. <clears throat> so anyway because you're a genius so anyway this is a true story brother and uh, I have witnesses you know I mean I mean you ask me for witnesses but there's nobody in the classroom so I'm going to get you witnesses for God's sake come on okay come on let us make uh, you know let us be logical so anyway so uh, you know brother when you speak about the lion there's only one lion that is the Prophet Muhammad there's no other lion beside him you know as an example, once the Prophet Muhammad was eating a goat, and then the goat is cooked, and then the goat spoke. She told the lion Muhammad, don't eat me, I'm poisoned. Like, what the heck? The goat is cooked, and now the goat is talking, saying to the Prophet, don't eat me, I'm poisoned. The funny about the story that the goat spoke after the prophet eat the goat. 
Not before. <laughs> I mean, look how amazing this miracle, man. So the goat told the prophet, don't eat me, I'm poisoned. But the guy, he just noticed that it's poison because the guy next to him, he fell dead right away. And then the Muhammad and they made a cut in the neck of Muhammad to take the blood from his from his neck. And then Muhammad, he suffered for the rest of his life until he died because of the poison. But the brother, the goat, imagine, you know, you are eating a goat and you are a lion, you know, and the goat now is cooked, like cooked, really cooked, you know, and now you're lying, you know, and then the goat start talking to you like, and don't, don't eat me because I'm poisoned. What the heck? Honestly, if I am Muhammad and I am a lion, thank God I'm not either one, either one you know, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, you know, uh, if this had happened, like I would be like, praise be to Allah, the goat is talking. And Allah made the goat talk after the guy he ate the poison. I mean, do you see how powerful this miracle? And do you see how slow is Allah? <laughs> so look what happened. I think what happened. Uh, <clears throat> I think we need to do some experiment here to teach you what happened here. Most of you are not, uh, uh, you know, I mean, your imagination is not good. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Let us see if we can help you with a different method. You see, in school, like elementary school, they, uh, uh, you know, they like they use, uh, you know, they use big cells to teach you. Okay, so let us say this is a goat. Okay, this is a goat. All right. And now they are doing a barbecue for the goat, brother. All right. And the goat is done now, and the prophet is eating from it. Allah was trying his best to make the goat talk. So he used all the word he knew, like sakasu, sakaka, did not work. Sakaruru, tatarura, didn't work. He was doing his best. I mean, he was working hard, Allah, trying to make the goat talk to tell the prophet, don't eat me. So finally, Allah, he made the goat talk, but after the prophet ate from the goat. And this is why I say to Allah, shame on you, you better get a better speed internet. Because if you have a good internet, if you just upgrade, I mean, come on, don't get the $10 one. So this is what happened. Allah was trying his best to make the goat talk. But because, you know, it's far, you know, Allah is way far away, you know. So he was like saying, ha 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 you know, those like, you know, magic words, you know, so the goat will talk. It doesn't work because the connection is weak. And maybe Allah even forgot which word will make the goat because there's there's a code for every animal. You remember the story of the Quran where Suleiman, he heard the ant talking? This is a true story. Me, myself, I heard a lot of ants talking. I will tell you, this is a true story, by the way. Once I was sleeping on the floor. You know, we are up, we sleep on the floor. This is true. This is the only true in the story. <laughs> this is the only true thing in the story. We are up, sleep on the floor. Anyway. <laughs> and, you know, I was sleeping on the floor, and there is an ant, you know, ant, you know, she came next to my ears and I start like hearing things. I was like, what? Can you speak louder? You know, because she's small, you know, her mouth is so small, man. So what I did, you know, I, I got those things for a doctor because once I, it was my dream to be a donkey doctor. That's why today I use it like, you know, called those some, some people, you know, like with stupid according to donkeys, you know. So I get those doctors for the, you know, the, 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 the what you put in the ears, and I put it next to the mouth of the end. And now I can hear her clearly. She was saying to me, you are sleeping in my place. And like what? I mean, imagine. I'm sleeping in, the true story, by the way, I'm telling you. I'm sleeping in the place of the ant. <laughs> the Muslim now, they will take a recording and they will play. Christian Prince, did you tell this story? Claiming this is a true story? Or this guy who said in the chat, in the previous video, Christian Prince, stop faking Zachary Everybody knows that this is not Zachary
Look, hold on. Let me get you the actual text. What the guy said. Hold on. Where is where is that? Where is the comment about Zachar Naik? I'm trying to find it. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. This is a different one, actually. This is a different one. CP, this is a stupid, insane. How long do you want to fake that Karnay? Okay, the other one, this is Abdul. Here I said to him, I learned that from Allah, that he is the one who fake Isa. <laughs> and now this is the smart one. Do you really think this is Zakir Naik? Lul, you must be something else. He is fooling his own Christians. People so sad. And then I say to him, you are so genius. You are the first one to discover that this is not Zakir Naik. How did you, how you do it? How you did it? <laughs> Then he said, <laughs> Arabian prophet, fake buster here to make money of those Islamophobia. <laughs> oh boy. And then uh, here, lighting, lighting said, light. Wait, are you trying to say this was not real Zakir Naik all those years? Are you serious? Thanks for a clarification. <laughs> he said it's fake all his phone calls. <laughs> Lighting, he said to him, I'm shocked. <laughs> I better stop. Unbelievable. <laughs> Honestly, I can't breathe. My chest hurting. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, where we can find that video? What video? Which video are you talking about? We are, you know, I don't know. You are talking about uh, Mimi Hijab or Zakir Naik? I don't know. The video of Mimi Hijab, it's called, this is Zakir Naik. The ocean graphy. Let me give you the link. Actually, I can give you a link. Hold on. This is for Zakir Naik, and you can make like a mix of Zakir Naik making his lie, and then Mimi Hijab getting Zakir Naik busted about his lie. <laughs> you don't even need to put my voice there. Just put the two. Look at this. Look. Look at this face. Decent. Scientific error. Minute number twenty. I think twenty twenty. You can record from there. And this is the video of uh, Mimi. Have fun. <clears throat> but you know, like, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I mean, I, I make the sound of Zachary Naik almost like him, don't you agree? <laughs> Scientific miracle of the Quran, Quran sees and river. Brother. Oh, this is uh, this is posted by Sam Shamoon. Uh, Sheikh Hassan explaining Islamic paradise. This is a different one. Look, look at this video here, brother. Sweet water and salt water cannot be mixed. Abdul Basit. <laughs> it turned to be that all this is hocus proven by Muslim to be a fraud. I mean, imagine time come and what they claim to make it a miracle, it became the joke. Look, this guy here brought some water, fresh water, <laughs> look at the salt to get the Muslim busted. <laughs> <laughs> Parting the sweet water, you know, Islamic videos. Look, look how many videos about this. Look at this. 
Look at this guy. See, not mixing. I mean, look at this. Do you see the decency of those people? Modern science, Quran and modern science. Okay, should I play the guy with you here? Uh, it's the same anyway. I mean, I know that you guys you like my, uh, you know, comedy, but it's okay. Enough is enough. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. <sighs> Oh boy. By the way, is it true that uh, I'm not calling Zach and I because sometimes I feel, because, okay, I will tell you what happened to me. Brother and sisters, once upon the time, there was a Jewish guy. His name is Lubaid. He took some hair. I cannot tell you from where. And since then, I start imagining myself that I'm doing a thing, but in fact, I was not. So sometime, brother, I imagine myself calling Zakarnaik. And because it's imagination, it sounds perfect. Oh, hold on, I just get the imagination. Teradun, 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 teradun. Christian Prince, I told you, don't call me. Zakarnaik, hold on. I called you only five times a day. I mean, this is not much. Come on, we are close, aren't we? Christian friends, first of all, we are not close. And you are many. And don't call me. Okay, hold on, but I'm suffering from something now. I need your help. I'm imagining things. As an example, now I'm imagining that I'm talking to you. <laughs> Christian Prince, I this is what happened to the prophet. And you remember, you used to make fun of him. That somebody took some hair of a man and he made it with it. Like what? What happened? What? Tell me, you have a minute with What do Zach and Nike? I can't understand. Just easy. With the breath. I saw your video. And you are saying how the Prophet would be with. This is what happened to you. Allah, he cursed you. And now it's your turn. Uh, so are you, are you saying I am bewitched now? Exactly. Okay, Zachary, how we can solve this problem? First of all, you can solve the problem because you have to convert the term. And then you have to read the tape, the chapter of the chair. You read what? The chapter of the chair. The chapter of the chair. Exactly. And you have to read upside down. You have to read the chapter of the chair upside down. Exactly. How I can do that? Like, I can flip the chair. Christian Prince, are you stupid or what? That means you have to read it from the end all the way to the beginning. Why would I do that? This is how it is. Like it or dig it? Okay, Zachary, so after I read the chapter of the chair, that will fix my problem? Exactly. Okay, Zachary, so how, how come the prophet did not, this did not work with him? Because the prophet is different. First of all, the prophet is so big. Mm -hmm. I thought he's short. He is short, but he's very big. And he is uh, handsome. Uh -huh. I thought he's like uh, Kojak. Uh, uh, Chris First of all, Kodak is very famous actor, and we can compare him to the Prophet. This is Haram. Uh, now we will see a comment by a Muslim saying that this is not the true Zakarnay. This is how smart those people are. Hmm. Once the Prophet was bewitched, so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which, in fact, he had not done yet. You know, this is what you remember to me. Once I was driving in the highway, I opened the door and I left the car going. <laughs> but I imagine that I turn it off. And then the police call me and says, Hey, are you the owner of this car? I said, what, uh, what car? They said, the car was running in the highway, hit many people in the way. I said, what are you talking about? I turn it off. And this is how we step out of, how you can step out of the car and the car is moving. I forgot, you know, that I was in a very special forces, which was a chasing ants, you know, in the army. You know, because I, if you remember, I told you a story before, that once uh, Prophet Solomon, he sent a special unit, uh, you know, to the, the value of the ant, uh, because there was some ants are doing some attack in the sugar of the Prophet Solomon. So, uh, you know, uh, we went there, we are a special unit, to the, like we are the, the Terminator. All right, 
So we arrive to the value of the ants and we start like, you know, we start terminating the ants and brother, we killed a lot of ants. I can't tell you more because I can be arrested for that, you know? So when we arrive to the value of the ants, you know, this is what, this is exactly what happened. Suleiman was so upset from the ants, you know? And then he, he told me because he's the boss. I was, to be honest with you, I wanted to be the boss, but they did not let me, you know? Because they told me you are not a prophet and you you know you don't have a flying horse and those qualification, so I could not be a prophet. So anyway, like because I don't have the in my resume, I should put like I have a flying horse. If you have a flying horse, you can fly. You know that's it. You can be a prophet. But I don't have flying horse. I don't have a you know a flying carpet because my my grand grandfather was was like a poor man. He's not like he cannot buy me those. You know, but you can buy them from like in, at that time. So anyway, true story. <clears throat> Uh, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> tell you when they came to the valley of the ants, and one of the ants said, <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, all of you are liars, including this, this grace Christian prince. So, Idi. What do you think about the story of the value of the ants? As long as we are liars. Can you tell us our lies? Please, can you tell me one lie we said? Eddie, can you help us? Guys, Eddie is accusing us to be a bunch of liars. Help us, Eddie. Give us one lie we said. Here we go. What do you mean, are you kidding me? Are you, are you an ant? Ah. This guy, he was one of those ants in the valley of the ants, and now he is coming after me, asking for his revenge. You are killing me. This is a true story. We're not making things up. I mean, Quran, look, this is Quran. Tell when he came to the valley of the ants. There is a valley of the ants, by the way, and they have a flag. They have borders, they have customs. Okay, when you arrive, okay, let, let me explain to you. This is because this is this is a true story, as I say. When you arrive to the, uh, the valley of the ants, the police ants will stop you. You know? And, you know, for me, I told them, I will not let a male ant touch me. I mean, come on. Because they have to check, like, your body. If you have weapon, drugs, hashish, you know. And if you are an Arab like me, suicide belt, you know. So, anyway, they, uh, uh, they okay, I said, okay, we will send you a female ant. Man, you should see what she did. I could not take it no more, so I screamed at her. I said, stop touching me. I mean, what's wrong with those ants? If, if, if this ant live in America, I will sue her for sexual harassment, brother. Unbelievable. True story. So how come the story I just told is not convincing? And the story of Suleiman in the Quran is convincing for you, Eddie? Tell me what the difference, really. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the point here. Hmm? Are you with us? Or against us? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy you know no to be honest with you the one the ant was a chicken is she was not the she was not the queen uh, t tell me how i know you know uh you know the 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 queen ant she have a perfume this ant who did check on me she have gas she smelled like gas you know, obviously she used to work like in a gas station or something. So there's no way this is the queen, you know, obvious, obvious, it's not. I wished that this is the queen because, I mean, at least I would be checked by the queen security, you know, I mean, that would be nicer. But it was like a you know, female, she worked in a gas station. True story, you know, those are all the true stories. And here we go, the Quran says that we arrive with the army of Suleiman to the valley of the ants. And Suleiman, he heard the ant, and by the way, the ants are deaf and they don't talk. But Suleiman, he can hear her. I mean, it's normal for Suleiman. He do hear stuff. You know? <clears throat> oh. Make fun of the same story? No, the Rax, this is not the same story. We talk about many stories. You are late. <laughs> you missed the movie. You need to watch from the beginning, the Rax. <laughs> Today we showed the Muslims how the Muslims they expose each other. This is your brother Mimi Hijab. 
showing the Muslim that all the videos they made about fresh water and salt water they don't mix is a lie. For sure, he is not. He don't mean to expose the Muslims. He was trying to refute somebody who got Muslim busted. At the same time, we have Mr. Zakar Zakura saying that there is unseen barrier. So this was our topic today, and about the sunset too in the murky water. <laughs> Wait for the Kenny video. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, the racks, why do you keep coming here? Are you are you, <laughs> you cannot leave without hearing me, aren't you? I mean, come on, let us face it, let's face it. <laughs> so we have one guy, his name is Mimi Ajab, saying this is a barrier, it's a piece of land, you idiot. And he was refuting an atheist. But Mimi Hijab never made a video. For all the videos is made in YouTube about scientific miracle in the Quran for all those years. How come you did not refute them? How come you were mute? How come you did not say this is a lie? Oh, because at that time it was serving the purpose. Now we, got, you know, somebody get you busted. So now we have to say the truth. All those videos made by Muslims, brother and sister, scientific miracle in the Quran, salty water, brother. Don't mix with fresh water, brother. All those years, none of you Muslims notice that this is a joke. This is stupid. And now Mimi Hijab is trying to refute somebody supposedly, but by doing that, he got you busted with all those videos. And how in the world, Zakir Naik, he said that? Look, look at the title here, Islamic videos. Parting of sweet water and salty water mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago by Dakar Naik. <laughs> All of this destroyed. I mean, how many videos I made explaining this is stupidity here, saying this is a land barrier, and the Muslim they said to me, liar. Okay, now Mimi Hijab, he said this is a land barrier. Stupidity is amazing. Anyone have a question? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Yeah, but what make you really sick that this sick cult is sponsored by liars. I mean, do you think really that all those Muslims who heard Zakir Naik and watched those videos, all those who called themselves Sheikh, they did not know that this is false? They did not know that the Quran speak of something else? Actually, here we go. This is one of my videos. Barrier and salt water, miracle of the Quran and coral, fresh water by Christian Prince. This is uh, maybe 10 years, 20 years uh, old. I don't know how old this uh, I made many videos to expose them. <clears throat> how come the Muslim did not see it? How come the Muslim did not expose the liars from the, their own, if they are decent? So what they do, they support any liar as long he is lying to sponsor Islam. And now Mimi Hijab, he did not mean to expose the liars here. He wanted to refute supposedly somebody who got this false miracle busted by a very simple method. We bring some salty water and fresh water. We mix them together and let us see if they will mix. Because if the fresh water and salty water they will mix, then they will not mix. <clears throat> so usually they say, let us go Brandon. Mimi Hijab today decided to change the tune. <laughs> oh boy. Mean. Oh boy. Do we have any Abdul? You made fun of that Allah made the world in six days if you went against science, but you forgot that mention in the verse a day like 1000 year no i'm not making fun about allah making the earth in six days Eddie. you are mentally ill person and stupid 
This is not what we made fun of. Obviously, you are a donkey, certified one. What we make fun of is something totally different. Because your God, Allah, don't remember which one he created first. And actually, even he don't maintain the numbers. Because in one verses, Allah, he made them eight days. In other verses, there are six. In one verses, he says the mountains was first, after he created the earth. In the other verses, the mountain was last, after he created the heaven. In one chapter, the last thing Allah created was the heaven. He made them seven heavens. He finished them, and he made the stars. So the last thing was the stars. In other verse, is the opposite. Allah, he finished the heaven first. He made the day and the night between the stars. And then he went to the earth and made it flat. He put the mountains. He put rivers. So this is what we make fun of, Idi. You are silly. Don't get married, okay? Your wife, she will leave you. Trust me. Second day. Not even a, not even a week after. And let us ask a question to Idi. Guys, let's see if Idi is the man. Idi, I will respect your reading if you give me the answer. Which one Allah created first? The stars or the mountains? Very simple. People, how many days we need to give Idi as time to give us that question? Should we give him six days? Because Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days, supposedly, as he said. Idi, I give you six days, brother, to come to me with the answer from your book. Which one Allah created first? The stars or the mountains? Very simple. And this, the 1,000 year, this is stolen from the Bible, but the, but the Bible is saying that the likeness of a day for God is 1,000. doesn't mean that God had a day of 1,000 years, because God is out of time. God don't get old. If you say that really God have a day equal to 1,000 years, that's mean he get old too. That's mean he's inside time. That's mean he's inside all the law of nature's. But just because the location is different, so the rotation of his place is different, so the day is longer. Very silly. Our Bible speak about 1,000 year, likeness of day of God, but this is metaphorical that, you know, 1,000 year is nothing for God. When Jesus said, before Abraham I am, and then Jesus, he come to us, and he was, when he was speaking that, about 30 years old. But he was before Abraham. That's mean that time mean nothing to God. Right? Are you there, Eddie? By the way, Eddie, I'll tell you a story, a true story. You know, I'm like 10,000 years old, you know? But what happened, brother, I followed the, uh, the steps, the medical step of the prophet, and I was uh, taking shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. According to science, brother, I'm not going to call Zakir Naik now because a Muslim cut me busted. I used to call Zakir Naik, but now I cannot call him because Muslim, they figure out that this is not Zakir Naik, so I cannot call him no more. So I will call his brother. Brother Sita, I am the brother of Zakir Naik, and now I'm going to the of Christian Prince. He is, hey, hold on. Your voice sounds like him. Christian Prince, you are stupid. I just told you I need brother. So it's very normal we have the same voice. Oh, you got a point there. I never thought about this. <laughs> because you are stupid. <laughs> I got you, but that. So it's like an egg. I told him that I am like 10,000 years old because I take a shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. Is it true that this is very healthy? Exactly. First of all, when you were a child, were you with... Uh, what do you mean were with? When you were a baby, baby. Before you were born. Uh, before I was born. Uh, I don't know. I think my mother, she ate me or something. Exactly. So your mother, she ate you and you became a baby. Correct? Yeah, yeah, this is what happened. All right. Yeah, she swallowed me. And then, where are you? Inside. In the blood. Uh -huh. And this is why you became healthy and you grew up and you became bigger. So it's proven that the blood will make you healthy and will grow longer. <laughs> I got you, but said. <laughs> are you there, Eddie? I mean, nobody can get us an answer like those. 
So the Prophet used to take a shower with dead dogs and warm blood, blood from period because that will make him live so long. And it's proven, brother, that this is true. This is why the Prophet, he died so early. <laughs> Unbelievable. Man. Hey, Prophet, you perform. Look, look what the Muslims are asking their Prophet. It was said, O Messenger of Allah, you perform wudu from the will which the body of dogs Ministral rags and garbage are thrown. Look at the wise prophet. You know, the wise prophet, he reminded me of uh, the love guru. You know the love guru? He is the love guru. He's very wise. So he looked at them. I imagine him now he's doing yoga. And they were asking him, do like the prophet now using yoga, he's doing yoga, but he's inside the, this water. Have dead dogs, wound blood from, from uh, period, garbage in it. Prophet, he don't even care. He can't even smell it because he's practicing the most powerful connection yoga with Allah. So they are asking him, do you do that, Prophet? You eat it. Are you asking him you do that? He is in the water already. So what do you mean you're asking? You do that? He is already doing it. Hmm. How would America look at like if Islam was taken over in the West? Well, Islam will not take over anything because Islam already is over, my friend. You see, Islam can't even take over Islamic countries. Can you name for me one Islamic country is Islamic? Yeah, it's, it's over. Even Saudi Arabia now, they have, uh, you know, uh, theaters, movies, dancing, clubs. Uh, even now they will have, they have a bikini, B bikini beach. You see, they are promoting Saudi Arabia as a target for tourism. The old days is over. This new prince who came, you know, he's a dictator, and he don't want Saudi Arabia to be what used to be for the last 1400 years. So now they will have bikini beaches, women they can drive, women they can even take their scarf, and women they can go and work and be in the army, and they can be doctors, they can be engineers, and nobody want to follow the prophet. And this is the center of Islam. You go to Afghanistan, you go to Afghanistan, you will see even Taliban is asking the American to come back. All of them, they are fake. Nobody want to follow Islam because Islam is a disaster. You go to Emirat, or what is Islamic in Emirat? You go to Qatar, what is Islamic in Qatar? You go to Jordan, you go to Syria, you go to Turkey. Go to Turkey, Erdogan, he recites the Quran every day. He claimed to be a Muslim president, but the most well-known crazy night clubs in the world is in Turkey so what is Islam will take over what what and which is now which is now the Shia now is taking over the Sunni Sunni are dying maybe I should make a video about this you know the Shia the Shia the Muslim Shia they are taking over the Middle East the Muslim Sunni are in a very bad shape this is why they sign agreement with Israel. This is why now the Saudi, they, this, last week they had the first airplane coming directly from Saudi Arabia to, to Israel. Why? Because they are terrified. The Shia are taking over. The Saudi are losing war with the Shia in Yemen. The Shia taking over Syria, taking over Iraq, taking over Lebanon, and taking over Yemen, and they are extending so the Sunni are, let us say their day is over. <clears throat> and the only one, or let us say, the only hope for the Muslim Sunni is America and Israel, not Europe. Europe actually, they always support, uh, they support the Shia, you know? Even Obama in his time, this is why Obama, he gave all the money to Iran, because obviously Obama, he hate the Muslim Sunni. He supports Shia. I believe strongly that Obama is a Shia. You see, when Obama, he sponsored the Muslim Brotherhood, because this is, was the plan of the Shia, maybe many of you do not know, that the Muslim Brotherhood, which is a Sunni organization, is sponsored and funded by Iran. And actually, the first center of the Muslim Brotherhood, the money was from Al Khomeini, or from the Mullahs at that time. <clears throat> 
anyway this is like uh, it may be complicated uh, uh, politics for some people here to not know much about the Middle East but Islamic the world you know in the way you know it is over you know those uh, they come to the West to speak too much about Islam but nobody wanna no, none of them he want to practice Islam because if they want to practice Islam what is Islam then which country right now of the Muslim countries are practicing what Muhammad said where how when uh, so I'm not really worried about the future Islam taking over anything because it's and you know there is one thing about Muslims if one of them he grow he killed the rest of the Muslims it's not the Christians who kill them like the war in Yemen now is between who between the Jews and the Muslims no Muslims the war in Syria between who Christians and Muslims no Muslims fighting Muslims the war in Iraq all the wars Afghanistan like the American is gone okay who is going who's fighting who now Muslims This is how it is since the time of Muhammad. Nothing changed. Right? Uh, Michael is saying he gave the money back to what he belonged to Persia. First of all, those, this money does not belong to Persia. The Islamic regime don't believe in Persia. They believe in Shiaism. So you are ignorant. Secondly, if he want to give the money back, he should give it to the king of the Persia because he was the authority which all the money belonged to him in case you do not know Iran used to be all the country owned by the king the Shah so any money belonged to Iran belonged to that king not to the regime of Al-Khomeini number three when you give money back as you call it to the enemy who want to kill you that's mean either you are stupid or you want them to kill you Michael, very uh, funny answer. Uh, anyway, people, they have their own uh, silly excuses. Secondly, if you hate, if, if you are hating America, why your money is in America? Obviously, the money was there because the king he put it there, not the Iranian regime. The king of Iran. Right? Matthew 7 12, respect like you want to be treated, okay? Yeah, but you know, I I, I, I treat you like you'll be treated like you treated us too. You call us pigs, you call us monkeys, you call us donkeys, you call us ignorant, you call us kuffar, you call us najis. And then you ask me to follow Matthew. Well, I'm following Matthew. Jesus, he called the ignorant, ignorant, the liars, liars, the hypocrite, hypocrite, and the one who is evil called them snakes. Okay? Brother? <laughs> I mean, they make fun of the Bible 24 hours, 7 days a week. Suddenly, they want you, the Bible, you should follow the Bible. <laughs> Do you see the hypocrisy of those people? <laughs> I thought this is the bad book. I thought this is a corrupted book. Now you are asking me, you, why well, you don't follow Matthew? Huh? Stupid idiot. Shall I show you the Bible says to people like you, stupid? Shall I show you that the Bible says that you are the son of the snake? The son of Satan? In the Bible, Jesus saying that. So you are a silly person, my friend. You're silly and shallow, like your prophet. Very shallow. Actually, because you are very shallow, I'm going to make a shallow video about shaitan urinating in your ears and uh, why you cannot stay in, in between the shade and the sun. Here we go. You, you give an idea. Just to show you how silly you are. <clears throat> you 
You never make fun of my religion. So what the Quran is about? The first page of the Quran is cursing us, saying don't make us like the Christians or the cursed Jews, the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. I don't make fun of your religion. So when the Quran says, kill the Christians wherever you find them until they pay you money, if they don't convert to Islam, you don't make fun of my religion. Get out of here. You are silly. A person of diarrhea. And I am a person who likes to make fun of your religion. What you can do about it? Don't come here. Stupid idiot. So it's okay to call me Najis, filthy, dirty. I cannot say to you, no, your prophet is filthy. It's okay to say, kill my family, rape my wife, take my land, and have to be humiliated. But I cannot do any of those to you, brother. Because Jesus said to me, don't do that. No, Jesus, he said, the one who lived by the sword, by the sword will die. Which means Muhammad is a filthy man. He killed and he will be killed. And the penalty of crimes in the Bible is death. So whoever killed, he will be killed. Do you understand? Hmm. Hey, CP, tell us what happened to the wives of David. They still working for the pimp, your pimp God? Well, I don't know about that because according to your prophet in the Quran, David, he have 99 goats he used to F them. Who is the pimp? And David, he saw a woman, she was taking a shower and he sent her husband to be killed so he can take the husband. Is that what are you talking about? Papa of Islam? Abbas? <laughs> Imagine this filthy religion saying that David, he have 99 goats and he used to F them. Prove me wrong. The verse in the front of you. The wives of David, according to Islam, they are goats. Are you there, Abbas? And if we go and see the reference, we will see that David, he have 99 goats to F them, yet he saw a woman, she was taking a shower, and he decided to send her husband to be killed so he can take her. So in the Bible, it says that God... He punished David. He took his son from him. He told him the prophecy that what you did to people, they will do to you. You took the women from her husband, people will take your women from you. So God here is punishing David. What your God did, he is rewarding him. So you see the difference, Abbas? So who is the pimp? How my God is the pimp if my God is punishing David for what he did? Stupid idiot. Muta boy. Do you see the verse? Do you want to show the, do you want to show you the reference? <laughs> so in my book, God, he punished David for his sin. Look how harsh the punishment. He took his son from him, which he had from that woman, which is not really his woman. He told him that the woman you took she will be taken from you. Penalty. But in your book, what is the punishment? Uh -huh. What happened to the wives of David? You know, Abbas, do you like to call me and we talk about what happened to the wife of David? In front of everybody with reference. Is that fair, guys? We will talk what happened about the wives of David and the wives of Suleiman. Well, according to your God, he made all the shaitans in the world, F them. And I have the reference ready for you, Abbas, son of Muta. Do you dare? Not only they slept with men, they slept with the shaitan himself. Shaitan, he took the look of Suleiman. 
he went to the wife of Suleiman and he was taught if in them as a gun machine. And according to you, Muslims, according to your prophet, how they find out that this is not the husband? Because he if so much. Are you there, Abbas? Is that true? Who is the pimp? And all of this, it was Allah planned to be a trial for Suleiman. So Allah, he made shaitan if the wives of David. Allah, he made David if the wife of somebody else rewarded him. And this is the plan of Allah. And this is in the Quran. Do you dare to call me Abbas, boy? Did Allah punish David for the sin he did in the Quran? Jaws. In the Hadith, no. Uh, there's a story of your prophet saying, <laughs> do you remember when I said to, uh, to me, Hijab, why you don't say inshallah? Muhammad he was teaching Muslims how important to say inshallah. So according to Muhammad, David, he decided to F all his wives in one night. But he forgot to say, inshallah. <laughs> and because he forgot to say, inshallah, Allah, he punished him and he gave him a half baby. Half man, according to the hadith. Is that correct, Abbas? Actually, the stories in the Bible here is amazing because remember those stories written in the time of the man we are talking about. Imagine how brave when this story is written in the in the Old Testament to speak about the king in his time. To speak about David in his time and to say the truth as it is. And this is a proof that when they say that the Bible is corrupted, that's a big fat lie. As you see, they report every sin he did. They report that God shamed him for it and he punished him for it. In the same time, what is the penalty of your God for David or for Solomon? If there's anything, Abbas, are you there? Are you searching Google? What happened to Abbas? Muta boy, pizza boy. Hmm? And as long as you are talking about pimp, when a man he came and he said to Muhammad, he want Aisha. Muhammad, after the man left, he uh, before he left, he said to him, "But this is my wife. This is the mother of the believers." Aisha, she said to him after the man left, who is a man who dared to say such a thing to you? Which means you coward, you did nothing. He said, I want to F her. Muhammad, he said, He is a fool we have to obey. Which means if he insists to take you, he will have you. Are you there, Abbas, the coward? Who is the pimp? The pimp is the one who ordered Muslim women to rent their vagina for three days, three nights. That is the pimp. Are you there? How would even you dare even to talk about pimp? When your prophet says any Muslim women and a Muslim man, they like to have muta for three days, three nights. Isn't it, this is a pimp business? Okay, hold on. There's a video, by the way, in uh, what it's called the uh, about uh, uh, Fifi and his brothers are talking about Allah giving license for a pimp. Uh, what what channel, guys? Somebody post the link. Go watch it, and you will see the three Muslims. They are agreeing that Allah He gave a license to be a pimp. This is not my word. Even they are the one who is using the word. If any of the admin they have the link for the video. You will see that you must and three of you, including Fifi, agreeing that Allah is giving a license to be a pimp. Abdul, he asked, the other Abdul, he answered, brother, it sounds here like Allah, he gave us a license to be a pimp. The answer, yes, brother, it sounds like it. Go watch the video. 
if somebody have the link posted from the admins if I say it people will say he's you know making things up but this is your videos this is your Muslims Yeah, he's a potato. He's a he's a, he's a donkey. And this guy, he, he he read the story in the Bible says that God will take you. You know, he says that God is speaking about what will happen to you as a penalty. So he will take his protection from you, and he is telling him about the future. The same you did to others will be done to you. It's a very simple rule. And you know, I used to say that uh, Abbas, he sounds like uh, coming from a nice family. Obviously, this guy is a son of a pimp. He claimed to be a Muslim, and he claimed that he respect Jesus, and he called me and he called Jesus coward. A Muslim who is supposed to be a true Muslim, he will never say Jesus is coward, regardless of the same in the Bible or not, because Jesus in the Bible, according to the Quran, is the same Jesus. According to his stupid book, Jesus in the Bible is the same as Jesus in the Quran. So when a Muhammadan he say that Jesus is coward, either he is a donkey, he did not understand his religion, or he is out of Islam, or this is what Islam is about. Nobody have that video about the pimp? Nobody of the admins? Because some of you send it to me in uh, in Patreon. If you have it, post it. I don't want to. I don't want to play it here. I want people to go watch it, and maybe we can support the other channel. What is the name of the ministry? Ministry C. So I don't. I forgot the name. This is, I think, the video, the channel of Hatun. Is that the same one? I'm not sure. Yeah, if you can pause the video. Well, uh, Lisa, I'm saying the video which is saying the pimp, you know. Three Muslims, they are discussing about Allah giving license to be a pimp, and they agree. No, not true. I, I, I saw it in, uh, I think this was Hatun channel. Yeah, DCCI, DCCI ministry. They just put it last week. You can go check it out. You drink, yeah. It's a, yeah. Okay, I drink. Uh, you know because you know I, you know because I live between the two seas, which they don't mix the salty water and fresh water. So sometimes I drink from the fresh water and then I drink from the salty water because I have to make balance between the two water. And Allah, He made a you know a, a barrier between the unseen barrier. <laughs> Nobody found the video? Really nobody? Yeah, I want actually every one of you to download this video. Yeah, this is the video. Thank you, Lisa. So guys, this is the video. You can click on it even if you are now. You will go out of the chat, no problem. But save it, download it, and post it everywhere. It's from their mouth, and they are agreeing that you can be a pimp. And the question is, sound like Allah, he made us have a license to be a pimp. You believe it? I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? I said, by the way, I click at the link, it doesn't work. I think there's something wrong. You have to click at share, go to the video and take it from share, not from, uh, not from just top. Click at share and post the link from share. Let me see, hold on. I will search for the title myself because your link is not working. Alright, here we go. This is the video. 
actually there's many people they download already and Quran being a pimp is okay and you will see that the one is saying that is the Muslims there's no Christian talking there <laughs> it's not us <laughs> it's not us <laughs> isn't it hilarious you know what I uh, see from that verse is that you can be a pimp. <laughs> exactly. So, so <laughs> a little bit funny. What, what the verse is saying, do not force your slave women into prostitution so that you might gain something out of it, some worldly main. But if you do so, if you, if you force them, then after that, Allah is forgiven, most merciful. I would ask you, Brother Habib, if you're if you're interested in answering, why would God be forgiven to those people? Why would God be forgiven right now in this particular situ scenario? Like the guy is forcing the, the girl to do fornication, to to, pro to prostitute herself for right. money, basically, like a pimp, uh, Brother has said. So what's your thoughts on this? Why is it yeah. possible? Why, why, why is it even forgiven? 2433. 2433. Okay. So it says, let those who find not the wherewithal for marriage uh, keep themselves uh, chast until Allah gives them means out of His grace. Um, okay, I'm just going to jump to the to the main point of the verse, um, what we're referring to. But force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity. So it says fetayatikum um, uh, for, for, for maids here. Um, it would mean slave women, um, even though technically you could read fetayatikum to mean girls in general. But um, I'm sure from the context, we'll all agree that it's referring to slave women and not daughters, right? I'm hoping. Wallahu alam. I'm hoping. Uh, but force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity in order that ye may make a gain in the goods of this life. But if anyone compels them yet, after such compulsion, is Allah off forgiving, most merciful. Okay, so basically it's saying that um, don't force your girls, meaning slave girls. Um, I mean, that's the apparent meaning of the verse. Uh, we can disagree if you guys would like to disagree. But yeah, it says don't force your girls into prostitution. Um, in order to gain something from this world. Uh, and if one forces them after that, then Allah is forgiving. So that, that, that's the verse. Abdul Bar, would you like to share your thoughts on, um, yani, on, on the verse itself? Yes, so from that verse, the apparent meaning of the verse that you read, uh, Brother Khalil, is... Hold on. Yeah, if I, the what I uh, see from that verse is that you can be a pimp. <laughs> I'm not going to play the whole video. Do you see it? This is what happens when the Muslims are alone in a locked room. The appearance of the verse, brother, they agree. You can be a pimp. If a Christian prince, he said that lie number 120. Did you hear it? The three, they gave their opinion, it appeared, brother, that yes, you can be a pimp in Islam. Are you there, Abbas? Are you there? Son of Muta, Abbas. Let me give you the link, because the one who shared the link, the, the, the link they share with you, it wasn't working for me, so let me I try from my side because it's uh, it's posted everywhere. I mean, you can download from anywhere you want. This is the link. You can download the video and share it. All right, and yes, you can be a pimp. This is what they say between between each other, but in front of us, they will deny. 
if they are denying, if they are debating Christian Prince and Christian Prince he says in Islam you can be a pimp they will say liar it doesn't say that CP but behind their own doors yes you can be a pimp why not In the time of the Prophet, Jews and Christians, they worship Allah. Hey, Abdul, Abdul Wahab, Al Wahib. This is a very silly argument. Because if in the time of a Prophet, we worship Allah, and then in the time of the Prophet, the Christian they say that Jesus is Allah, that means you are a donkey. Isn't it the Quran says that the Christian they say that Jesus is Allah? So how we worship Allah? That means we worship Jesus. You see how silly you are? In the time of the Prophet, brother. <laughs> I mean, the problem, my problem with the Muhammadan, I cannot find one person here have an IQ, a little one IQ, like, like in the height of a flat carpet, to talk to me. So, in the time of the Prophet, the Christian and the Jews, they worship Allah. But the Quran says, no. The Christian, they accept the Messiah to be God. In the time of the Prophet Abdul, are you against the Quran now? Huh? Are you against your Allah word? Silly, stupid, I cannot, I mean, I'm telling you, my suffering, I cannot even find one intelligent Muslim, he know what he's talking about. Uh, okay, guys, guys, hold on, look, look what, uh, uh, look what, uh, what Abbas, he said about Farid. Abbas, he's saying, look at this, those are three Muslims, one of them is Fifi, He's saying, ha, 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 you're funny. So if any Muslim, he say anything, how come it's you who said to me, go and see Farid's response? Now you don't want his response? <laughs> if any Muslim? <laughs> okay, and why three Muslims, and they are supposedly the one who refute the Christians, they become any Muslims, and why they are saying that? They are quoting the Hadith, they are reading the Quran. How come three Muslims, they read the Quran, they come to a conclusion that you can be a pimp? And Abbas saying, <laughs> Christian Prince, you are so desperate boy. <laughs> Get out of here, Abbas, son of Muta. You have no place in my... I used, I used to think about you, that you are coming from a good family. But obviously, you are a pimp. Obviously, after you call Jesus a coward, I will put you into my shoes forever. You have no place here, dog. Your prophet, he called you a dog. And I can show you the reference. A bastard coward, the dog. At least your respect to your Muslims friends. Those are your friends in England. Very famous people. And they are saying that Allah, obviously, he is considering it, you have a license to be a pimp. And Abbas, he don't like it. So now they become any Muslims. If any Muslim say something that we become Islam, the Quran saying that Abdul, not any Muslims. They were reading Quran. They were not reading Mickey Mouse. <clears throat> it is saying, there's nothing wrong with accepting Jesus as your prophet, just that saying he is God is illogical. Okay, Eli, I like it when you talk about logic. Is it logical that Jesus is just a prophet, but he can do what your God cannot do? As an example, Jesus, he can, he can resurrect people from death. Can your God resurrect people from death? No. Jesus, he can... Curse a tree and the tree die. 
your God, he cursed the Christian, says, if you don't believe in Muhammad, I'm going to erase your faces. Was your God able to do his promise? No. Jesus, he can feed thousands almost from nothing. Can your God do the same? What you would do, you would claim that all those is done by your God. I can claim the same. I can say Jesus did not do any of them. I am the one who made them. But what is confirmed is that Jesus, he did all of this. And not only this, he can't tell you the unseen. And not only this, Jesus is alive. And not only this, Jesus have no father, but yet he's born. And not only this, he is holy. And not only this, he is born with knowledge. Not only this, you do not need Jibreel to guide him or to teach him. You do not need Jibreel to squeeze him. You do not need Jibreel to give him Bible or Quran. Jesus is born with it. Is that logical for you? That a man, his name is Muhammad? He needed to be squeezed three times at the age of 40, and yet he have no idea. Then he go to his wife, and then the wife, she take him to a Christian priest to tell him what who he saw. Does it make sense that Jesus is born in the cradle and he was a prophet already? Does it make sense that Jesus is holy and Muhammad is sinner in the Quran? Does it make sense that Jesus, he never commits sin while Muhammad was busy going after women, including his own son and wife? So you follow a perverted man, his name is Muhammad. He flirt even with his own son wife when she is married to the man. And you don't accept Jesus to be God? Jesus is alive. Muhammad is dead. Your God is not alive. Prove it to me. I challenge all the Muslims to prove that Allah is exist. But I do not need to prove that Jesus is exist. In your stupid book, Jesus is coming back. All of us, we are waiting for Jesus. You are waiting for who? Jesus. So you are just a silly person, Idi. If you want to talk about logic, is it logical that a person he is born, he will have no father? You see, the stupid Quran says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصَيْرًا You read any interpretation, it says, that Allah, he made everybody after Adam from sexual relationship by marriage. Go read it. But Jesus is not. So every human being is coming from here, from sexual relationship, except Adam. So everyone after Adam is as the verse saying, but Jesus is not. Not only that, your prophet says, every son of an Adam is a sinner. Jesus is not the son of Adam. Who is the father of Jesus? Any Abdul can answer? Any Idi? Do you see how silly you are, Mr. Idi? That is my Jesus. And that is your prophet, the perverted man going after children. While well, your prophet was asking his men to go and fornicate around and even to leave their wives and go after children. Jesus was ordering the Christian men or whoever want to follow him that if your eye fail you, you better take it away. Who you follow? A perverted man. That is the truth. Imagine you see a married man and he married from a woman, she is a widow. And then you say to him, why? Why you don't marry a child so she can amuse you and you can play with her? Is that a word coming from a prophet of God or perverted by the file man? The man, he said to him, well, I have no choice but to marry a woman not someone in their age, the orphan I have. He have orphan from his brother. They are the daughters of his brother. So he married a woman. He cannot marry a child. 
Did you see the perverted man Muhammad? Asking a man to leave his widow so he can have a child to play with her? And look how authentic this hadith. Look how many times is reported. This is a man of God. Imagine your son-in-law is married to your daughter and then an idiot, he come to him, he says, oh, your wife, she was a widow? Why? Why you don't marry a little baby child so you can play with her? And then the brother-in-law, he said to the idiot, oh, hold on. My father died leaving seven or nine girls, orphans, and I did not like to marry, to, to bring a young girl like them, like them. Do you see the word orphan? You say the word orphan only for children. A person whose parents is dead and he is a man or a, or, or a child, a female, and she is mature, she is not orphan. You say orphan only for children. He don't want to bring a wife like those orphans. She want, he wants a woman to take care of them. So I married a woman who can look after them. This is your prophet. This is your faith, your prophet. Reality is ugly. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. The video became long reading. I mean, this Christian prince, he cannot make a short video. How in the world this video became two hours and 41 minutes? I said to myself, let me go for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Unbelievable. You know, but what we can do with the you know the the, the invisible barrier? <laughs> if this is a prophet of God, who is a perverted? Then who is the pimp? If you are a woman and you are a Muslim listening, imagine somebody come to your husband and you are a widow. He married you after your husband died, or you are divorced. And then the prophet, he says, why? Why you marry the rags? She's here, right? Why you marry the rags? She is a widow. Why you don't marry a child? So she can play with you and you can play with her. She can make you laugh. What a perverted pedophile. Isn't it obvious that this guy is a, is a pedophile? Actually, to be honest with you, one of the most thing I hate a person can do is to be a pedophile. If I am a president or a king in a country, I will make the most extreme, harsh ever punishment for a pedophile, like Muhammad or those priests and those sheikh in the mosque who molest the children. Those are the most evil people in this earth because they take advantage of a child. I can see more ugly creature. I don't consider them a human being. I consider them the most ugly creatures because even dogs don't go after little puppies. Dogs have more honor than those people. Animals, they sniff, they sniff the animal and the animal have different smell. The female have different smell. If she is mature, they don't go after little baby puppy. They don't. This is the most disgusting act a person he called himself a human being can do. This is why Jesus said, it's better for you to put a milestone in your neck and throw yourself in the deep ocean before you hurt the little ones. Muhammad, he brought nothing but a shame. 
and shame on you to follow such a man. This video is not going to stay for long, but I'm going to make it a private link or make a private link of the video reloading. So people who don't want to download, they can download. Because you know, this video is very dangerous for the Abdul. And uh, <laughs> the coming video is going to be more hilarious. What I will call the coming video. Let us see. Let me make let me make one. Oh, what I will call it. What I will call it. Uh, uh, okay. Sitting between the shade. Why sitting between the shade is haram? Let me create the video. Hold on. I mean, it makes sense. Sitting between the shade is haram. Why? <laughs> mean, this religion is so good. It is so good and so beautiful. You know? Okay. Why sitting be between the shade? Is forbidden it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, this religion is so crazy. I mean, we have we have to think about it. Can you find one thing is right about this cult? Sitting between the shade is haram. Like what? What happened? Why? Let us see. Where is the screenshot we took? I don't see it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't see the screenshot for some reason. It's not appearing. Hold on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Man, oh man, let me take the screenshot again. For some reason, it didn't show up. Let us do it again. Smile. Shake. Shaky shake. Okay, let's try again. Is this going to appear or not? Eh? For some reason, it's not appearing. Oh, now it's appearing. Here we go. Okay, now we had it set. Okay, now it is public. All right, so we have a video, and this video will be uh, October 31st. Oh, October 31st, that's tomorrow. Oh, this is, yeah, tomorrow, because already we are. 1 uh, 107 a.m. So already is Saturday. So this is will be Sunday. I don't know if I want to go live on Sunday. What do you think, guys? Should I go live on Sunday? Should I make it Monday? What do you think? Which one is better, Monday or Sunday? I think my I think uh, my Monday is better. What do you think? To give people a chance to watch the videos we just made. Yeah, let us make it Monday. We will make it Monday. And we will make it in the morning. Actually, I had the time wrong here. Uh, uh, Monday will be November. And we will make it in the morning. Oh, hold on. I'm changing the wrong one. Okay. November 1st and we will make it 10 20 a.m. in the morning or maybe 20 10 30 okay 10 30 is good my time 
all right it's published already so we will have it monday so monday will be here i hope you guys you will have a good weekend i pray that you know uh, all people will have a good time we pray for the muslims we pray for the christians we pray for the hindus and those who they are cursing jesus i feel sorry for you because you brought to yourself what you don't want jesus he said that he will come with the glory of his angels and at that time jesus will not be the forgiven person jesus will come to be the judge and the judge will be just so those who deny him he will send them where they belong so imagine about those who cursed him or those who insulted him not just denied him I believe that your penalty will be severe. Something you don't even wish to think about. So repent before it is too late. For me, I'm so proud, and there's nothing to be proud about, except following the Messiah. I'm proud of nothing of my own. I'm a sinner. I'm proud of nothing of a family or wealth, because all will not go with me in the grave. Nothing will go with you. No first name, no last name, no money, no car, no bank. All what we have is just to survive today. But the day which the Lord will come is where you need everything you can accomplish in your life. But none of it is the money. None of it is gold and silver. This is why you have to be careful from those liars who they say to you, call now, donate now, so God can listen to you and forgive you. You do not need to donate to them. They are obviously a scam. You donate to the charity, yes, but not your donation will forgive you. You donate to the charity because you are a good person. You like to help. This is the fruit of a believer. But you can't bribe God. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So your fruit speak of who you are, but it's not going to go to God. You can't bribe Jesus. You can bribe Muhammad, but you cannot do that to Jesus. Muhammad, he said in the Quran, that the one who gave a loan to Allah, Allah will make it many times more. The man is after money. He's begging for money. Actually, Mimi Hijab, when he had a debate with David Wood, he went after a few hours, even, they did not even sleep. They went on YouTube, they make a video, and they were reciting the same verses. And they were saying, there's hundred something, 70,000 a year leave Islam, brother. Woman yuqridullahu qardan hasanan. Who is going to go and lend Allah a great loan, a goodly loan? And you give it to who? You give it to Mimi Hijab. In the time of Muhammad, you give it to Muhammad for sure. But now Muhammad is dead, so they replace him. This is the fraud. A person who wanna defend his God, he will not claim that giving him money is a loan to Allah. And that including Muhammad the prophet and Muhammad the one who came after him. And God do not need a loan. Can't Allah make Muhammad hit the ground and make it gold? Why he is begging for a loan? And Muhammad, he promised those who gave him a loan that they will have the highest heaven. Buy a corner lot in heaven if you are rich. This is why Uthman ibn Affan became the caliphate because he was the richest and he was the most who gave Muhammad money. Money talk. The caliphate, who became a caliphate, he did not become a caliphate because he was a good person, but because he was rich and he gave Muhammad money. The ones who promise you heaven for giving him money is a fraud. You do not need to be genius to get it. All cult leaders, they want two things from you, your money and your women. 
all of them go check there's many cult leaders they got busted in America and around the world all of them they share the same thing give us your money and don't forget your wife if she is beautiful and this is exactly what Muhammad did so I want to say thank you all for being here and uh, we feel sorry for this guy Eddie because obviously he is not even using his brain he is speaking from his nose we speak about the East he speak about the West we speak about the West he speak about the East we show him as a prophet perverted asking a man to marry a child he answered us about how to make a moss Eddie if you are married if you are married be sure that you don't talk much to your wife because it's not a true what the Quran says that women are stupid most of them the majority are not but it's true that every single Abdul I spoke to he was a stupid and the proof is you if people look at your answers I mean you are an idiot we talk about something you answer about something else We show you the prophet going after a child. You say, you, you, you talk about, so why you are insulting the prophet? What's wrong with those people? What of, what kind of, uh, hold on, don't say don't kind of guys. Let us go Brandon. <laughs> this is their answer. <laughs> Science proved that we are biologically more capable. Not you, E.D. According to your prophet, you were a lizard. Your prophet, he consider. Look, just to show you, we are talking about politically, Idi. Just, just to show you how stupid. Don't come here again, Idi. I'm going to block you after this message. Because you know, I hate stupidity. I can't take it no more. You know, I used to have more patience for stupid people, but you know, I'm losing my patience. Politically. Are you the one who believe in the Quran saying that we are coming from a congeed blood? Are you the same person who believe that sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women? Are you the one who follow a prophet who says that sperm is collected in the belly of the mother for 40 days? Are you a person who follow Muhammad who refused to, uh, sorry, he observed rats and he come to the conclusion that Allah, he cursed them and they used to be Jews? Biological, look how big their words. Biology. The followers of the dump Muhammad, they are speaking about biology. Read Mr. Biology. This is Sahih Bukhari, very authentic. Dummy. The Prophet said. A group of Israelis were lost. Nobody knows what they did. Look, look at this drama, man. Nobody knows what they did. But he know they are lost, but he don't know what they did. But I do see, I do not see them, except that they were cursed and changed into rats. Like, what the heck? And now Muhammad is going to prove it. Listen, listen carefully. For if you put the milk of a she camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it. Those are rats who are following the law of Moses. Because Jews, brother, Muhammad is observing the Jews. He lived between them. The Jews don't drink uh, camel milk. Okay. And rats don't drink camel milk. Okay. Well, obviously, they used to be Jews. Hello. Idi, this is your donkey. And by the way, if animals refuse to drink something, obviously it's not healthy. So if a rat refused to drink the camel milk, how your prophet drink it? Obviously it's not good. And you can go right now to United Nations Health Department. You will see a big warning about how dangerous the milk of the camel and his urine too. And Muhammad ordered you to drink both. So a rat is smarter than your prophet. But according to your prophet, 
because he is so smart man he noticed like come on the Jews they are or the Jews Orthodox they don't drink camel milk uh-huh rats don't drink camel milk uh-huh I found it bingo uh -huh. those that used to be Jews and Allah he calls them this is your prophet I mean, do you see how deep do you see how high level of intelligence he is so you you follow this idiot and you don't follow Jesus you idiot this is what you follow this is your master the rat guru what's wrong with those people Okay, donkey don't drink vodka. Muslim don't drink vodka. Oh. Scheduled a lot for 11 November. 11 November? Let me check again. No, November 1st. November 1st. 10 30 a.m. New York time we will be here again so guys anyway thank you very much for being here otherwise it's going to take forever to finish and don't forget to download the video as soon as possible because we will take it down and uh, we will post the link for it actually in patreon so people can download it from there and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord and the master of the rat Muhammad got exposed See ya. God bless you.